hello, hello, hello. Welcome to the stream. I'm so happy to have you guys here. We are playing a new game today. It's called Wildflowers. We talked about it on stream last night, and I am so, so freaking excited. <laughs> I have to post on my story and whatnot that I went live. So let's see, come say hi. Um, trying out a super cute new cozy game called Wild Flowers. Okay. Post. Now I have to post on Instagram, but how is everybody doing today? Ariana, thank you for being first in the chat. Welcome. Stacy, hello. Sydney, how are you doing? Pretty Guardian, you came through with wildflowers. Yes, I'm so excited. Um, I'm so I'm literally so excited to play this game. I was like, I downloaded it earlier today and I was looking at a few videos on TikTok just because I was like curious about what what it's all about and it looks really cool. Audrey, hello, welcome to the stream. I wish it was peach season. <laughs> Allie, hello, welcome. I hope everybody is having a great night. Um, I have some sugar-free Red Bull. I'm very excited about it. Mm. So freaking good. Let me post on my story on Instagram. Um, okay, here we go. Um, trying out a new game. It looks so cute and cozy. Whoops. All right. I'm so excited. Like, I like, can't contain myself. I hope that this game is super fun. I feel like it will be. I don't know where to put this. That look right I don't know <laughs> why is this looking weird it looks so cute and cozy okay there we go alrighty guys <gasps> who's excited Kristen hello I'm gonna watch your VOD after Paige's stream can't wait to see what's next Oh my gosh, Ariana, or Ariana, sorry, I don't know why I said Ariana again. I did that yesterday too. <laughs> That's so exciting. Congratulations. There's not a ton about it online yet, but I have had to look up a few things for my daughter. I tried to like find some stuff, but it was kind of hard. I haven't even launched this yet. So we're about to find out what's happening here. I'm so excited. Let me know how the audio is. The game, I'm probably gonna have to turn the... I definitely, whoops. I definitely want you guys to be able to see. Oh, not see, hear. Okay, we want subtitles on. Right? That sounds good. So, um, basically, um, I, I believe, just to kind of give you guys a tiny bit of context, um, oh my goodness. Hang on. 
Let me know how this voice audio sounds. Yes, Grandma. Here's four potatoes from the field. Oh, I can't thank you enough for helping. Is that me like, like this. good audio compared to my voice, or do you want it louder, quieter? I don't know anything about this game or the other one you've been playing, really, but I'm excited to watch. Well, I am excited to have you here. I really don't know much about this game, but for a little context, basically, um, we are escaping city life and we're similar to Stardew Valley and we are, you know, changing our our life to be like farm style, the slower lifestyle, and we find out that we are a witch. And I think we're helping grandma out. There's a town, there's like romances that you can, you know, encounter. I've heard this game is super diverse, which is fantastic. It's kind of low, might need to make it louder. Okay. What about, what about now? How is the music now? Yes, Grandma. Here's four potatoes is from the better? field. Oh, I can't thank you enough for helping me. Oops, sorry. Okay, let's try this out. Thank you, Sophie, for subscribing. Okay, are you guys ready for the voice volume? Yes, Grandma. Here's four potatoes from the field. Oh, How I does can't that sound? thank you enough for helping me like this. Compared to my voice. This is like literally my first time launching the game, so I probably should have messed with settings earlier. Can you make it loud? Yes, that's what I just did. I just changed the overall loudness. I know there's a delay, so let me know um, how it is. Okay. Yeah. Okay, cool. <laughs> I know that there's a delay, so I, I just made my whole entire desktop audio louder through OBS. Okay, so this is better. Awesome. Any, any other adjustments? Because if I have the music volume all the way up, I know it's going to be loud. Like, that's the music volume all the way up. Well, of course the music stops. <laughs> okay, well, um, hopefully this is good. All right, sounds good. So, um, I, oh, let me look at the controls. Okay, let's see. Remove timing challenge when finished. I don't know what that means. Show item name tooltips. Sure. Embargo fish sticks. I don't know what any of this means. Um, day speed normal. Um, okay. 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 <laughs> Hopefully there's some sort of tutorial, um, but we're going to start a new game. Okay, so uh, let's just dive in. Um, I'm going to try to use my mouse and keyboard. This is a voiceover game too, so there's going to be lots of talking as opposed to Stardew Valley where I read all of the dialogue. So that's important. We're in Fairhaven Town. You guys can't see it. It's underneath me. But this is Fairhaven Town. It looks so freaking cute. This is adorable. I'm obsessed. Look at the cat. The cat is so cute. All right, I think this is us. Oh my gosh, look at how cute we are. Yes, with that rainbow flag. I know, I can already see the diversity. That was, like, something that I saw repeatedly um, from, like, reviews and, like, the few clips that I saw online. Excuse me, would you happen to know the way to Hazel Wilde's farm? Tara? Oh my goodness, it really is you, isn't it? Lena? I haven't seen you since I was tiny. 
It's good to see you again. I heard you were coming to stay with your grandma, Hazel. Now, do you remember the way? <laughs> uh, no. I don't remember much from that time. No problem. <laughs> Go up the stairs behind this me so and turn cute. left at the top. Then just follow your nose till you get to Hazel's house. Go up the stairs behind you, then turn left and follow the path. Got it. Okay, is the audio good? Or is it loud? Let me know. Okay, so up the stairs. This is so freaking adorable. Oh, wait, I can talk to her? How do I... Oh my gosh, you gotta be Tara! Hazel's been hyping you up for weeks now. Well, now I'm embarrassed. Don't be. It's sweet. I wish I had a grandma here to talk about how great I am. Anyway, I'm Violet. Pleased to meet you, Violet. We don't get too many new faces around here in Fairhaven, so let me know if you ever want to hang out. I love her. Oh my gosh. Sounds good, sounds good. Okay, cool. I don't want to, like, talk over the, the characters. All right, let me see. Look at this map. Wow, okay, so, look, it shows me, like, where I need to go. That's super helpful. There's, like, you know, if, if we ever get lost, um, everyone needs a friend with purple hair lover. I know, I'm, I love Violet. Okay. Um, what is this? Uh, to, okay, so this is my to-do list. So we're going to Grandma's house. Show hint. I'm just curious. Check your map if you're unsure. Okay, cool. And then we can pause. Um, resume game settings, return to menu exit. Okay, cool. Okay, let's see. I am not super good with mouse and keyboard, so... I might switch to my controller. Um, ooh, that looks cool. <gasps> okay, here we go. This is Hazel Wild's farm, AKA Grandma's farm. Oh my God, I love the graphics. The mushroom, there's a mushroom, are you kidding me? Oh, I love it. This is so freaking cute. Aw, Grandma Hazel. Blasted, rusty old crank. Huh. I ought to blast you. <laughs> Not a bad idea, actually. My charm will bind, turn, and unwind. <laughs> Ooh, she's got Let some magic. Go. Uh, Grandma? <gasps> oh, it's you. Oh, my little honeybee. <laughs> I'm not so little anymore, Grandma. No, I suppose not. I'm so glad you've come. Me too. How can I help out around here? I don't know much about farming, but maybe you can show me the ropes. Uh... Well, uh, oh, now that you mention it, uh, I haven't got the spring crop of potatoes in yet. Let me help, Grandma. Why don't you give me those seeds and I can get them planted? That would be a good start. Here's the seeds. Just head over to one of the garden beds there and, and scatter them about. Okay, from bud to spud, plant the potato seed in the garden bed by the farm. Okay, which one Which one looks like a potato? Oh, okay, so we have two options. Let's do this one. Select. All right, we've got our yeah, for potatoes planted. Now you'll need to water them if you want them to grow. Oh! You can fill it up at this old well. Uh, plants need to be watered every day to grow. Fill up the watering can at the well. The rusty watering can. I love it. Ooh, my watering can is already full. Got it. Got it. It's already full. All right. Let's water these spuds. There That's now. our grandma that now. Yes. It. It'll take a few days to grow, but it's a start. Oh, and I was thinking about cooking up some mushrooms. How would you like mushroom soup for dinner? Mm. Are you kidding is me? Is it the same one you used to make when I was little? Because if it is, yes, 
please. <laughs> Lovely. You'll find plenty of mushrooms good for eating if you head up that mountain path a little. Wait, we have to pick the mushrooms ourselves? <laughs> no, this <laughs> isn't the city, honeybee. Besides, freshly picked mushrooms taste better. Yeah, if they're not the kind that poison you. You'll do just fine. <laughs> I'll do my best. Is there anything else I can do for you? Well, if you wanted to get some new seeds in town, it might be a good time to stop by and see the mayor. Introduce yourself. He's at Town Hall, a big building in the center of town with a flag above the door. You can't miss it. I'll take good care of you and this farm, Grandma. I'm just so glad you're here, my sweet little honeybee. I love that she calls right. her honeybee. Here I am, farming. <laughs> This place has changed so much. It'll take a lot of work to get back to how I remember. I don't know if city life has prepared me for this, but I'm ready to give it my best. I'm so excited. Okay, wait for your potato plant to produce potatoes. The fungus among us. <laughs> Grandma has asked for mushrooms in order to make something tasty. The most elaborate icebreaker. Meet the mayor at town hall in the center of the town. Okay. Okay, so five days remaining on the potatoes. Okay, cool. So let's go get some mushrooms. Okay, so it's 10, 10 a.m. Okay, so we have a clock here now. This is so freaking cute. Oh my gosh. Hey, I remember this mine. It looked way less run down when I was seven. But so did everything around here. <laughs> it looks like you can fish in there. <gasps> Mushrooms! I saw something about... I think our backpack has unlimited storage. I think I saw that on... Um, on their TikTok, actually. I was looking at their TikTok account. Let's, like, look around. So it looks like we might be able to do some, like, fishing. I feel like we're gonna need an outfit change because this is not giving farm vibes right now. <laughs> um, okay, so let's go give Grandma um, our mushrooms. Can I give you the mushrooms? Oh, here we go. Ah, spring is the time when the earth reawakens. You can forage for the gifts the land offers up if you know where to look. Have you found any mushrooms? Will these work? Those are nice, plump ones. <laughs> You're a natural forager. <laughs> when I was out searching, I came across that old mine. You used to tell me that there were goblins inside, remember? <laughs> I told you that, did I? <laughs> oh my it god. Was a, a smart there probably way of keeping is. a curious little girl out of danger. The wood and the support rotted clean through. Shame. I'm sure there's still perfectly good iron and copper down there. Come back tomorrow and I'll have the mushroom stew prepared. I'm a bit tired just now. Aww. Okay, so it looks like we have three hearts with her. I don't know if if that's something that we'll have to, like, progress. Okay, what else do we have to do? We have to go to the town hall. Oh, wait. That's this way? Yes. Town hall to meet the mayor and something else. <laughs> I forgot what it was. Is it this way? Here it is. Here, let me read chat really quick. Let me pause. <laughs> um, let's see. Let's see. How are we liking it? My hair color is basically the same color as hers right now. And you also have hazel green eyes. Make Tara a little more plump and that's me. Oh my gosh. Um, Grandma said let's trip. <laughs> 
She got those good mushrooms. <laughs> I'm literally going to buy this tonight. I'm sold. It's on iOS, Switch, and Steam. Yes. Me and my kids do. Apple Arcade subscription need, though. Spoiler alert. No one is magical. They're all just high on mushrooms. <laughs> hi, Christine. Welcome. And Kelly. I don't know if I said hi to you, but hello. <laughs> um... <laughs> I'm a loot goblin, so that makes me so excited. That's so funny, Stacey, because you said that. And then in game, she was like, um, you used to tell me there was goblins in the mine. <laughs> Nothing bad better happen to grandma. I know. If you can, buy another seed at the grocery. Okay, cool. Because you have two pots right now. True, true, true. Yes, we love the rainbow flag. Um, okay. Cool, cool, cool. Okay, let's see. Resume. Let's talk to the mayor. Oh, hello. Welcome. I don't welcome, know if this welcome. Is the mayor. I am Mayor Otto Soft, and you must be the new voter. I mean neighbor. Uh, hi, uh yes, that's that's me. If there is anything you need, I'm the one to speak to. We're a friendly town here at Fairhaven. We want to make sure you're settled in well. To that end. We want you to meet everyone, so we've made it a little game. The fine Fairhaven folk will let me know after they've met you. That way, I can give you a prize after you've met everyone. It's really quite clever and progressive. <laughs> Plus, a little bit creepy. <laughs> <laughs> You're funny. Anyway, come and see me after you've met everyone. Okay, cool. We have another quest. We have to meet 22 people. Okay, what else do we have to do? Oh, okay. We have to wait for potatoes, meet everybody, and grandma's making the mushrooms. Okay, so where do we get seeds from? Let's see, oh my gosh, the school is so cute. Let's see, maybe it's down here. Why does every mayor do this? <laughs> oh, let's see. Who are you? Hey, how's it going? I'm Damon. Damon. You're Hazel's granddaughter, yeah? How did you guess? You got the same eyes. They say, I'm beautiful, but I don't suffer fools. I'll take that as a compliment. <laughs> I run the bar. Stop by for good vibes and a sympathetic ear any old time. Yeah, All right. Thanks. Awesome. Oh, hey, Bruno. Damon, I want to settle up for last night. Sorry I didn't have it on me at the time. <laughs> That's all right. I knew you were good for it, but, uh, <laughs> thanks. Fish just haven't been biting lately, but I got Otto to float me for a week. I wish you hadn't told me that. Your son already has it out for me, Bruno. That's not so. He's just a teetotaler, is all. And who's your new friend here? Guten Tag. You're Hazel's granddaughter, aren't you? Yes. Are you German? And also psychic? <laughs> <laughs> I'm Bruno. Don't actually speak much of my native tongue, but I try to keep up some traditions. And you're just a picture of your grandma when she was a girl. I am? Um... Yeah. She was a real spitfire back then, too. Hasn't changed much. I see you met Damon. Tara, watch out for this boy. He's trouble. Hey, 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 I'm trying to make a good first impression here. Do you mind? Okay, I love Damon and Bruno. Okay, oh. Did I do that? There you are. Oh, and Tara too. Wonderful. Tara, this is my husband, Parker. Hi there. Hey, Parker. Tara, I can't wait to buy your fresh crops. And if you need seeds, I can sell you whatever's in season. Oh, Parker, we need to talk about the kids. They were giggling over breakfast, so I searched Finn's backpack and found a whoopee cushion in there. Again. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> I, I mean, that's that's terrible. Uh, see? That's the problem right there. You think it's funny, and I have to be mommy cop. No, I'm taking this seriously, really. Okay, whatever. You can be the one to go to the next parent-teacher conference. I'm tired of getting stared down by Vanessa. Oh my gosh, that's hilarious. Okay, let's see. Uh, 
Um, green beans. Oh, I see. Okay, so I have 50 coins right now. Okay, cool. So I'll just take the green beans for now. Thank you, Lena. This is so fun. Um, let's see, who is this? Hi, I'm Kim. Hey, Kim. I'm Tara. I just moved here from the city. Oh, so what sent you screaming from the city? Dead end job? Sociopaths on dating apps? <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, what sent me here? A little both, of both. To be honest, everything in my life kind of fell apart all at once. Yeah, the city is truly a buffet of hot garbage, isn't it? <laughs> I know that shouldn't make me hungry, but it does. I run the butcher. We only sell humanely treated animal products. Right now, I have to source the meat from off-island, but we'll hopefully get a new rancher to move here soon. Cool. Nice to meet you. I don't think I can read the plaque on the uh, statue. Wait, who is this? I need to talk to you. My mom said I should make an effort to make you feel welcome in town or whatever. <laughs> so, um, hi, I guess. <laughs> I'm Juliet. Hey, Juliet. It's nice to meet you. Okay, bye. Cool. Nice to meet you, Juliet. Um, okay, so it looks like we are building relationships with them. I want to go plant these seeds. And then I'll talk to this person over here. Ah, hello there. Nice to see a new face around here. Hi, I'm Hazel Wilde's granddaughter, Tara. Oh, Hazel was so kind to me when I first moved here. Used to let me cut through a property to get to the old mine. Of course, that was before the supports and the entrance gave out. There's still good ore down there, I suspect. Ore? Oh, sorry. Sounds like a quest. I didn't introduce myself. I'm Natalia, and I own the blacksmith. I can melt down ore into ingots and upgrade any of your farm tools for you. Okay, well. Am I supposed to keep talking to her? Oh. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Okay, well, I guess I can't really do anything with her right now. I didn't even know you could play this on PC. I was the one who said I finished this game earlier and loved it. I'm so happy. I was so happy to hear that. All right, let's plant. Wait, oh, here we go. Let's plant our green beans. Is it just one? Oh, okay, no. We'll plant and water them. Maybe she can de-rust her water can. That's what I'm thinking. Okay, let's see. Let's see. Who else can we talk to? It's already 440. Let's go this way. What's over here? Ooh, I think I can pick this up. <gasps> can I pick this up? <gasps> yes! Oh my gosh, this is so satisfying. Wait, let me look at this piece of wood over here. <gasps> A mushroom! Okay. I love this. If you walk up to the fence, you jump over it so you don't, oh, so you don't have to go all the way around. That's awesome. Good to know. Good to know. Oh my gosh, there's a beach. This is exciting. I love when you can choose the responses. Me too. Caleb, hello. <laughs> Ocean View Countryside is what this is called. Aw. Oh, the seagull is so cute. <laughs> All of the loot, yes. Oh my gosh, this place is adorable. Who is this? Wait. Excuse me. 
Hi, I'm Tara, Hazel Wild's granddaughter. Nice to meet you. No, I remember you. You used to run past my farm on the way to the beach when you were little. Yes! And Grandma always told me to mind that I didn't trample your crops. You're Thomas, right? Yep. Gosh, your farm has the most stunning view on the whole island. I'm not selling. I, I didn't mean... Your grandma needs help on her farm. But it's not as easy as just moving here and picking up a pitchfork. I know. I'm here to learn. For Hazel's sake, I hope you learn quick. Oh, he's a little feisty, isn't he? Hmm. Jacob's dad from Twilight. I'm so afraid to spoil, so trying to comment sparingly. I appreciate it, but it's good to have you here in case we need help. <laughs> I actually named my second Animal Crossing Island Fairhaven because of this game. It is such a cute name. <gasps> Who are you? I don't think I need my Welcome mouse. The I island. think I only need my. I am Messenger Cameron Connor. I think hey. I only need my keyboard. As one newcomer to another, please let me know if there's anything I could do to help. All right, Cameron. <gasps> a crab! This is so fun. <gasps> Can I pick this up? Yeah! A seashell. Oh my gosh, another seashell. And this? <gasps> Bananas! This is so fun! How cool. A prickly pear. <laughs> I know. What was that all about? Oh, here's the lighthouse. It looks a little abandoned. <laughs> and not really, like, much of a lighthouse anymore. It's already 8.50 p.m. Do I have to, like, get back home or something? Oh, so I unlocked this. I see, I see. Cool. The waterfront properties are gorgeous. I know. I want one. By midnight? Okay. Where Where is my home? Is my house with grandma? Is that where I live? Cinderella. <laughs> okay, so I guess I can't go this way yet. This bridge has been declared unfit for use. The path to the mountain is off limits. Okay. So we'll probably have to fix that. I'm guessing we'll also be fixing this. It's a collapsed mine shaft. <laughs> Looks like I can't get into it until it's fixed. Okay. Okay, Grandma's house is where... We need to be full sleep. Okay. This is so fun. <gasps> what was that? Ooh. There's more stuff over here. This is fun. <gasps> ah, I see you found the barn. This is it? I went looking for it, but I, I wasn't sure. <laughs> Remember the time I milked Bessie and she kicked over the milk bucket? Bessie! I hid in the barn because I thought you would be mad. <laughs> no use crying over spilled milk. Or a barn that got blown down in a storm, I suppose. I had to give up keeping cattle. So does that mean this is... Yeah, the chicken coop. Well, after Merlin passed, I didn't Aww. have a dog to guard the chickens. And they kept getting picked oh, off. Oh, Merlin's a dog? The coop for firewood. Oh, that's a shame. Do you think we could restore them? Well, I'm sure we could. 
but after that old ranch closed up, the nearest place to get more animals is miles away. Uh, if Mayor Otto would bestir himself to do something about that, then fixing up these buildings would be light work for Parker. Wait, who's Parker? Do we know Parker yet? I know he put the the sign um, saying, like talking about the bridge, saying that we can't cross the park or cross the bridge yet. But I don't know if we've met Parker. I don't think we have. Okay, so that's obviously going to be another quest for us. I'm back. My phone died. Welcome back. Oh, it's getting late. You should get to bed soon. All right, we're heading home with Grandma. 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 Which one's my bed? I'm guessing not the one with the broomstick. <sighs> what a long day. Oh, yes. I think I'm gonna restart this game because I loved it so much. It, I am loving this game so far. <gasps> a red mushroom. Oh, who is that? Nicole, welcome! That is kind of spooky, honestly. Okay. <gasps> I'm so excited. Let's talk to Grandma. Oh, Lena brought us some extra milk while you were out, so Lena. I made us a delicious mushroom soup sure to warm our bellies. And you're you're sure it had the right number of uh gills or whatever? We're not going to start seeing things or frothing at the mouth. Oh no, if I gave you something that made you see things, it'd be on purpose. Uh, Grandma! <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding, honeybee. Now, I have another chore for you that would be a great help if you don't mind. Of course, Grandma. What is it? Some wood for the fire would be nice. Nights are still cold in the spring around here. I have would some you wood. Go and find a couple of the big old logs lying around the oh, farm. Oh, big Chop logs. them up for me and bring me the wood. Sure thing, Grandma. Uh, you'll need this to get started. Hooray! Okay, Grandma has asked you to chop some logs around the farm. Okay. Alright. Don't forget to water those potatoes every day. You got it, Grandma. Why did Grandma, or did Grandma just say that? I know, like that's what I'm saying. All right, let's fill up our watering can. This is seriously so fun. I didn't know what to expect, but this is so fun. How do I, how am I supposed to chop stuff down? Did she give me an ax or something? Oh, I do have an ax, okay, cool. Okay, I-J-M, I-J-M, oh shoot, okay. This is interesting. Okay. Let's drop this down. Okay. Is that all I needed? Oh no. Okay. We need to do one more. Here's one. I love Dreamlight Valley so much because I fell in love with this game before I played Dreamlight. I haven't played Dreamlight, so I'm excited to try that. Let's go give the wood to Grandma. Grandma is, dare I say it, wild. <laughs> she really is, though. <laughs> oh, that wood looks nice and dry and ready to burn. Great. 
Thank you for doing that for me. It was no trouble. Phew. It was hard work, though. Oh, look at you. You're plum tuckered out. What do they teach young girls in the city these days, anyway? If you work too hard and don't keep an eye on your energy, you're likely to pass out. Mm. But there's an easy solution. Good old-fashioned country cooking. Here's another serving of the soup I made earlier. Oh, thank It'll you. It'll fix you right up. Okay, eat something. Okay. So, let's do I. Um, so, maybe I do need my... Eat. Oh, it's vegan! We love a vegan soup. <laughs> um, okay. Cool. Am I supposed to talk to her again? See, a bit of food is all you need when your energy is low and then you're right as rain. <laughs> For a while, you still need plenty of sleep. Even my cooking is no match for a good night's rest. But, Grandma, you're the one who should be resting. I don't want you troubling yourself to cook for me. Ah, is that your way of trying to get my recipe book? Did Sophia put you up to it? She's always trying to get a peek at my recipes, but you can tell her they stay in the family. I hide my recipe book in the stove. She never thinks to look in there. <laughs> Go on. Try one. Okay. Well, which one is your favorite? Wait. I am quite partial to mushroom risotto. Another mushroom dish? Okay, so we need rice. Buy rice and collect mushrooms. Okay. So, wait, who's trying to steal her recipes? I, like, missed that part. Oh wait, I've already been this way. This is downloading on my MacBook right now. I can't wait until you get started on the wild part of this game. Ooh, I'm excited. All right, let's go this, well, let's go buy some rice, I guess. And we'll talk to anyone we see along the way. Oh, what's this? Kai's treasures. All right, let's go talk to Kai. Hey, bro. Hey, but uh, I I'm not a bro. Oh, my name's Kai. Check it out. This is my kiosk. I'm here, you know, whenever. It's like a pop-up shop. I only sell Ooh. the most killer stuff I find off island. Take a look. But like I say, if you fall in love with something, better get it now. That's the like TJ Maxx. Just whatever feels right in the moment, you know? Okay. All right. Okay, so he's got cinnamon, pineapple, chocolate right now. And I can sell him some candles. Okay, cool. Let's go buy some rice. Um... Uh, Nicole, so basically we are leaving our city life behind and we are moving in with our grandma, Hazel Wild, and we're gonna, like, you know, live the farm life. We're kind of, like, still learning. Uh, we're walking around town meeting everybody. We have a few quests. Um, and we, um, you know, uh, we're, we're, yeah, we're meeting people, figuring out the mechanics of the game, um, and we are apparently a witch. We just don't know it yet. That's, like, in the very descri beginning description of the game. So, there's gonna be magic involved somehow, but we're not there yet. We're still, like, a city girl learning the ropes of the farm life. <laughs> Hi, are you settling in? I'm still figuring out oh, my way around I and meeting everyone. Well, take your time. A new town can be overwhelming. And some of the- Oops, I did it again. Okay, so I can sell. Okay, so I want rice. Sorry if you just heard my phone vibrate. Sorry. Okay. Um... Um, so far, so I, I don't, 
I think, um, oh, we already know. <gasps> Who is this again? I want to say Kim. My phone also just fell, so sorry about that. The woman who runs the diner, you haven't met her. Left right across from the groceries, the diner. Oh, okay. Okay, so, oh, so Damon works at the bar. Okay, cool. So we know Damon. Oh wait, I didn't go in there. Oh wait, yes I did. What am I doing? <laughs> okay. Is this Kim? Yes, Kim. Local butcher and deli. Humane butcher services available upon request. <gasps> Who is this? Hi, I'm Tara. I just moved to town. You look just like I pictured. I'm sorry, what? Oh, uh, being Hazel's granddaughter, I mean. Oh, and you are? Been many things, but if it's a name you're looking for, folks here call me Shelby. Shelby. What are you? Oh, okay. So Shelby sells mushrooms and shells, and I can sell them to Shelby. Cool. Okay, so here's the diner. I see. Welcome to Cafe Moretti. What can I get you today? Oh, I'm new here. I just came by to say hello. It does smell great in here, though. Wait, you're Hazel's granddaughter. Welcome. Uh, I hope you come back soon. Moving always works up an appetite. Oh, where are my manners? I'm Sophia. Hey, Sophia. I'm Tara. It's nice to meet you. Okay, cool. Nope, I didn't mean to talk to you again. I want to talk to Damon. Hey, have you tried Kim's butcher shop yet? There was nowhere on the island to get good bacon until they came along. Now Kai and I can have ourselves a breakfast with the works on the weekends. All right. And who is this beautiful creature I see? I, uh, what, uh, I'm Tara, <laughs> Hazel's granddaughter. She's blushing. Hazel told me her granddaughter was coming to town, but didn't mention that she was so lovely. Oh, thanks. <laughs> I'm Amira, the doctor here in Fairhaven. I've been taking care of your grandmother. Oh, wow, thank you. I came as soon as I heard she was sick. Oh, she's, she's sick. She's lucky to have such a caring family. Well, I mean... To be honest, we kind of fell out of touch for a while. I'm trying to make up for lost time. We can't regain lost time. But you're here for her now. That is enough. Wow, did we just get hit on by the town doctor? Is that what just happened? Wow. <laughs> sparks? I know, I felt the sparks, honestly. <laughs> Was that her name, Amira? Amira, okay. Wow. Um, okay, it looks like, is this a church? League of the Conscious Mind. All right, oh, this is Cameron's, Cameron's spot. Oh, okay, we have a cemetery. A doctor. <laughs> I think Tara just got hit on 100%. Yeah, for sure. Do I just like barge into this person's home? Nope. <laughs> Why do I think we could do that? That was <laughs> not probably a good thought. here oh there's some kids let's go talk to oh i met her juliet <gasps> who's this welcome i am vanessa soft first lady of fairhaven 
pleasure to meet you. First How lady. is your grandmother doing? She's... well... To be honest, she's not doing too well. That's why I'm here. It's wonderful that you came to help her out. Do let me know if there is any way I can help. Okay, Vanessa, the first lady. Oh. So she's like the teacher, maybe? Oh, hey, you're new here. I'm Sebastian. Who are you? I'm Tara. I just moved here to help out my grandma Hazel. Do you know her? Oh, yeah. Hazel's cool. Like, for a grown-up. Uh, I'll see you around. <laughs> okay, well, this kid sounds like he's like 30, so... Sebastian. Hello. You're a stranger. <laughs> yes, I... I just moved here. I'm Tara. What's your name? Emmy. Well, now we're not strangers anymore, are we? I did not see that, Stacey. Okay, so I's inventory, M is map, J is journal. Thank you. I can just like click on it, but that makes, that makes perfect sense. Vanessa has amazing red lipstick on, I agree. Another Sebastian. <laughs> She's giving Evil Queen from Once Upon a Time vibes. I actually haven't seen Once Upon a Time, but I can get that. You can't go into anyone's home. Okay, cool. That's what I said when I first saw Vanessa. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, this is Park. Oh, that's Parker. So Parker is the husband of... Hello. Are you my mom's new friend? It's a Lena? Who's your mom? Lena. Lena. Then yes. Nice to meet you. I'm Tara. Nice to meet you too. I'm Finn. Finn! Oh, okay, we only have to meet two more people. We haven't been over here yet. Oh, that's where that magic was happening. With the spooky person. This is... That tree is gorgeous. I am loving this. <gasps> I'm literally just collecting like everything that I find. <gasps> There's a cat! <gasps> Mandrake. Hello kitty. Can I pet you? <gasps> oh, look at the head scratches. Oh, the noise. Cats literally terrify me. There's whispering? What is that? Something spooky and weird is going on here. 100%. Um, okay, so let's open up our map. Okay, cool. And then our journal. Um, how do I, like, go back? Like, I don't know how to exit out of that without clicking off. Can I pick this up? No. Pet her every time you play if you can. Oh, okay, cool. I'm gonna pet her again. <laughs> hey there, kitty. Ugh, I love, love, love that noise. But yeah, cats scare me in real life, but I do love the noise. Hmm. There's a plaque that reads, This beloved tree, the old as the town itself. Okay. Sounds like a magical tree. Somebody lives out here. Again, a little spot for fishing. Probably tab or escape. Okay, let, let's see. Let's see if I do. Okay, so tab goes to the next. I think I just clicked the same letter again, actually. Uh, 
It's already 8.20 p.m. I'm just looking for any <gasps> forageable items. Might as well use up my energy while I'm here. <laughs> Does my energy regenerate overnight? Like all the way, 100% no matter what? <gasps> oh! Shelby! That's where Shelby lives. What is this? <gasps> oh! So this shows like how many hearts I can get with the different people. Oh, I see. So like our potential, um, our potential single people, we can get more hearts with. It looks like. Oh wait, where am I going? <laughs> This area feels like an old eccentric, uh, old crone lives nearby. What is old crone? But I, I feel like I get what you're saying. <laughs> yes, it does. Okay. The ones with lots of hearts are potential love interests. Okay, cool. That's what I thought. Okay, I'm trying to figure out Oh, I need to make rice. Okay, so how do I make the rice? Let's go to the kitchen. Oh. I better not just yet. Okay. Well, do I wake grandma up? <laughs> like a mysterious old foresty person which Okay, yes. I, I think that's I what have I figured. Everything we need. Now, I've written down the recipe here. Head on over to the stove. Give it a try. Okay, you can go back to bed. Mushroom risotto. Do I wake her up again? Oh, I feel bad. <laughs> Shelby does live out there, so... Here you go, Grandma. Here's your mushroom risotto. Oh, thank you, honeybee. It smells wonderful. But you made enough for yourself, I hope. <gasps> Rice and shine! All right. Let's go to bed. Should I go to bed? Yes. Oh. <laughs> Y'all are catching on to some little things I didn't at first, and I love it. Wednesdays. <sighs> oh, are your allergies acting up? Oh, no, it's all the dust in the front room but sweeping makes my back ache so i've turned a blind eye for you know, months now but that's exactly what i'm here to help with grandma then would you mind showing those dust bunnies the front door <laughs> there's a broom in my room you can use oh, you wait out here those dust bunnies have no idea what's coming for them I'll have to move this rug to make real headway. Whoa! Ooh. Is that an actual trap door? Jeez, Grandma. What are you keeping down there? Rise and shine. <laughs> so, the trap door under the rug. Hmm? What is it for? Preserves and pickles? Or old machinery? It's not important, honeybee. Will you be out and about tonight? Probably, but I... Could you fetch me some moonflower? It only blooms after sunset. You'll know it by the white blossoms. See, my moonflower tea blend makes me feel so healthy. I get a blush on these old cheeks. Go right past Parker's workshop into the woods and 
but you'll find what you need. I feel like I'm getting redirected here. I, at my age, it's awfully hard to hear certain things. Did you put the rug back in place? Yes, Grandma, but... Uh, but are you brewing moonshine down there? You can tell me if you're brewing moonshine. Mm, I can already <sighs> taste that tea. Oh my god, I love that, that she's normal? playing dumb. That's amazing. Okay, let's go water our plants. We got our green beans. And our potatoes. If you stay out past 2 a.m. too many times, you'll have to go visit the flirty doctor again. Tea. <laughs> Moonshine is alcohol, right? Yes. I'm pretty sure it's illegal alcohol. <laughs> I don't know exactly, though. Illegally brewed alcohol. Yeah, there we go. That's what I thought. <laughs> All right. Anybody we don't know? <gasps> Violet. I want to talk to Violet. I loved her. So, I run the flower shop here in town if you ever need anything. <laughs> wow, it's such a coincidence with you being named Vi Yeah, yeah, Violet. A flower, it's hilarious. <laughs> Look, I don't even like flowers that much, but I can set my own hours. I like being able to be there when my little brother gets home from school. That's so nice. How old is the little guy? 16. <laughs> but he still likes it when I make him a snack, okay? <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny. Now, nowadays, you can buy legal moonshine. Yeah, I always figured it was different. Okay, white flowers. Oh, wait, but it's only after sunset, right? Yeah, it's only after sunset. So, we still have two people to meet. Um, so, let's go try to find those two people. Just making sure it's not a drug operation. <laughs> that would be funny. This game is, like, actually really funny. Like, the, the jokes that these people crack. Let's go check in on our doctor. How is the farm? Are you inundated with chores yet? There's not that much to do, honestly. The farm seems so much smaller now that I'm an adult. Hmm. When I first came here, I didn't think I'd have much work either. But living things, plants and people, are always growing, changing, becoming run down. And caring for them takes a lot of time. Amira. Just had to stop in and say hi. And Damon. Amira and Damon are my favorites. It's cool that so you're far. helping Hazel with the farm. Are you uh planning to take it over one day? I still don't even know if I can make a single seed sprout. <laughs> Give it time. When my pa ran the bar, I used to make a mess every time I tried to help out. And look at me now. Aww. Your grandma was always good luck on a boat back in the day. She had a heron's eye for spotting fish. But how can you see fish if they're underwater? <laughs> she hasn't taught you much, has she? Uh, um, potatoes? Here, take this rod. Keep your eyes peeled whenever you're near water for the shadows of swimming fish. When you see them near the surface like that, you know they're feeding trick is to get one of them to nibble on your hook instead of the bait fish they're chasing. How do I do that? You'll need some bait. Here are some worms. Uh, you're not the squeamish type, are you? You gotta hook your bait and cast your line. You'll feel when you got one and then reel it in. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Back up. How do I cast my line? <laughs> That's me. <laughs> You'll get the hang of it. The lake in the woods is a nice place to start. Uh, but take care, you hear? Don't go in those woods after sunset. I've seen things, well, you wouldn't believe me. My boy Otto didn't either till he saw it for himself. Just stay safe and come back and see me after you've given it a few tries. <gasps> if you can't find me at my uh. stall, I'll be by the lake in the woods or the beach. Anywhere I can cast my line. Well, and Damon's pub. 
But all I catch there is grief from Otto for staying out too late. <laughs> um, okay, so he told me not to go in the woods after sunset, but I have to go into the woods after sunset. Let's see, anyone over here? I think you're missing Angus and Francis. Oh yeah, no, I don't know them. Where do I find Angus and Francis? Grandma's setting us up. I'm so curious why I know. Um, when you find out who your love interest is, oh yeah, you pick your love interest. Go where the mayor is and check out the shops there. Okay. Have I been in here? Oh, here we go. Here we go. Hey, I'm Tara. Oh, the new girl. I'm Francis. Ashante. Oh, you speak French? Well, no. I speak Spanish, though. Bienvenidos to our little seaside pueblo. Gracias. Okay. So Francis can sell us jewelry, that's fun. And then, oh, Angus. So he's closed on Wednesday. All right. There's Violet. Francis accent, I love. Oh, oh my gosh. There's the. <gasps> Jumping over the, um, it's only 12 p.m. What am I supposed to do? Let's see. Let's go to our map. Um, so we can't go to either of those places yet. Um, okay, so we need the potato, the flour. Oh, let's try to catch some fish. And I don't know, we'll have to find out where to see Angus. Parkour. Angus is cute. You might still find Angus around the island, though. Okay, I'll keep an eye out for Angus now that I know what he looks like. And let's try to go fishing. There's Cameron and... I'm trying to remember everyone's name. I forgot that other person's name. Oh, someone's walking ahead of me. Who is it? Who is it? Oh, it's Shelby. Let's talk to Shelby. I know what you must be thinking. Why does old Shelby live in the woods? Oh, well, it's, it's really pretty and it's, it's quiet. Don't patronize me, Missy. Truth is, there are riches here the untrained eye can't see. You bring me forageables, and I'll pay you fairly for your troubles. I don't mind having I love you his out. Eyes. You don't have to pay me. <laughs> I'm a hermit, not a pauper. Don't need charity from no one. My bones may be getting old, Hi. but my mind's as sharp as a... Mm, I... Yeah, sharp as a... Attack? Don't interrupt. Young folks these days. No That's literally hilarious. Okay, okay. I love Shelby. Okay, let's go fishing. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Is really pretty see so I, I know I agree <laughs> I think he has one blue eye and one green eye Sardine! A common oily member of the herring family. 
That's also or that's found in the ocean can be sold to Bruno. All right, we need one more fish. One more fish, please. Ooh, I want that seaweed. Okay, this is our last piece of bait. I love the island music. It reminds me of Hawaii so much. <gasps> Oh, wait, I wanted that. I don't have any bait. Maybe I should visit Bruno. Maybe I should visit Bruno's shop. All right, well. Tell Bruno you've been fishing. Okay. Such pretty water. I know. I love that. I w this makes me literally want to go to the beach. I haven't been to the beach in so long. And I wanna go. <laughs> Let's go find Bruno! Is it too late? It's past five o'clock. Oh, it's Kim. So, you moved here to help out on Hazel's farm? Do you know anything about farming? Not even a little bit. Oh, don't sweat it. I would only worked in my parents' kitchen before opening my own butcher. I mean, you've at least had a garden or potted plants before, right? Not really. Oh. W well, good luck. Oh, yeah, Bruno's gone. All right, okay, so sunset must be happening. Oh, wait, but Bruno, Bruno, are you in the pub or the bar? Kai just pulled a John Cena. Bruno's not here. You don't need to visit his shop. You just need to tell him. So if he's walking around. Okay. I'll look for him. Oh. Was that him? <gasps> Bruno! Wonderful. You got the look of a lifelong angler in your eyes now. <laughs> oh, now here's a real challenge. Catching a certain fish is about the right bait, the right place, and luck. I got a hankering for some nice, fresh striped sea bass. They're ocean fish, so you gotta go to the beach. They might go for a worm, but you'll have better luck with this. In the future, you can keep bait fish you catch to try and hook bigger and more valuable fish. Come back when you caught one. Okay, cool. So we need a sea bass. Okay, so escape. Gets me out of the dialogue, like Stacy said. Okay, it looks like it's sunset now, so let's go to that mysterious forest. The people walk kind of funky. <laughs> oh boy. I'm scared. <gasps> There's the white flower. Uh, hello? Oh Who's there? Oh my. I probably shouldn't spy on strange people creepily creeping through the woods at night. Come along, Elder Hazel. Don't rush me, I'm coming. Grandma? Uh, where did she go? She shouldn't be out here at night. Elder Hazel, this is the third time you've come to the circle without your robe and mask. This is an unacceptable risk. Ah, it's time for us to come out of hiding. The town won't be afraid of witches if they know that we're their neighbors. People seem nice until the day comes when they need a scapegoat for their troubles. Then people become mobs. Well, I didn't bring Tara here so she could skulk around like she's doing something wrong just by being who she is so you think your intuition was right then she has the gift when will she be ready to join us join them you hear something uh oh <gasps> wait until morning to ask grandma about the woods oh my gosh okay so literally so many things going off in my brain right now so those people 
are all witches, obviously, and <clears throat> they're all neighbors. So, I'm done. Okay, if you know who they are, don't tell me. Because I, I, I want to know, but I want to find out as we go. <sighs> but I already have some guesses. Oh my gosh. This is so fun. Bruno looks like one. That's exactly what I was thinking, Stacy. That is exactly what I was thinking. The one that was like talking a lot with like the white hair. And then I feel like Violet is gonna be one because there was one with a purple flower. And then I don't know who the other ones are. Possibly Violet and Kai, possibly Kai. I feel like Bruno and Violet for sure, but I don't know. No, 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 Stacy, Stacy, I'm not, you're perfectly fine to guess. No worries. That's exactly what I was thinking. If you have any theories, please put them in the chat. I'm just guessing based on the mask. Yes, exactly. That's exactly what I was thinking. But the two that I was like really thinking were, oh, I'm not ready to talk to you yet. The two that I was really thinking are Bruno and Violet. Okay, it's 11 p.m. <laughs> we gotta go home. I know, so I won't say anything. Okay, cool. I appreciate it, Audrey. I'm really excited. Let me make sure we water. Did we water these today? Yes, we did. Okay, cool. This is so fun. Wait, where's Grandma? Grandma's Should not I home. go to bed? The way she says oh. that makes it sound like she's not ready to go to bed. Okay, we have to find. Who do we have to find? Not Francis. All right, let's confront Grandma. Well, I guess we'll do this Grandma, first. Grandma, I've been um, I've been thinking about my childhood memories of your garden, just bursting with veggies in every color. <laughs> I think we could bring it back to the way it was. Are you sure? That's quite a bit of work. What would we need? <laughs> well. For it to be enough to feed us and turn a profit, you'd need to build a bunch more garden beds. That means keeping a compost bin so you can get a whole lot of good soil to fill them. And you'll need to chop some wood to make the beds. Okay. I'm on it. Okay, cool. Now it's time to confront Grandma Hazel Wild. Grandma, so... Uh... Can we talk about the fact that I saw you with some people in masks and robes in the woods last night? It would be nice to talk after I've had some tea. Grandma. Oh, yes, yeah, some tea would really hit the spot. Come on. All right. Let's go make grandma some tea. Oh wait, can I not make her tea? How am I supposed to make her tea? Make grandma some tea. Moonflowers. Okay, I got a moonflower. Use the stove. Okay, that's what I did. What? I'm s What am I doing? It's literally right there. She ne sure knows how to change the subject. She sure does. And Angus, that's who it is. Yes. Alright, here's your tea, ma'am. Now spill the tea. Mm. Oh my. Oh, you make a very potent brew. Here's that key to the basements that you asked about. But, the hooded strangers? Go on down, my dear. 
will all make sense, I promise. Oh gosh, the trap door. Okay. Well, first, let's water our plants before we forget. <gasps> Look, we had to, um... We had to stake them. Silly. 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 That was silly. Thank you. Alright. That tea is good energy refiller? Okay, cool. Okay, I definitely have more questions than answers now. Uh, is that a cauldron? Not just any cauldron, your cauldron. What? What? Oh, no, I'm not a... Witch? Oh, my dear, yes, you are. No layperson could make a brew like that on her first try. I feel as spry as I did 50 years ago. This basement is your sanctum. You have your cauldron, of course. Wait, wait. is Dad a witch? Or, 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 or warlock? Or... Arthur? Oh, no. Uh, no, honeybee. He's more... conventional, I'm afraid. But I saw that spark of magic in your eyes the first time I held you. I've always known you would be an extraordinary witch. But the coven needs proof before they'll accept you. The coven. Well, those folks in the woods, of course. They put a charm on the bramble wall, so you'll need a wand to open it. This is, uh, kind of a lot to learn all at once. I understand, honeybee. When you're ready, read this incantation before the special silver willow in the woods. Then you'll have a branch to make your first wand. Okay, let's go. We get to make a wand. Grandma says this is my cauldron, but I better wait until I've learned how to use it. True. What's this? Distillery. Basement. Oh, mortar and pestle distillery. Oh. Okay. Cool, so I'll be able to like craft things. How exciting. She now knows she's a witch. I know, I'm so excited. Okay, so let's look at our journal. What do we have to do? We have to go to that, um, the woods, um, s to start make a compost bin. Okay, so let me, a compost bin. Okay, let's make a compost bin. Wait. How do I craft it, though? Do I need to go to the cra this crafting table? There we go. Build. Okay. Um. Okay. I'm so confused. Okay, wait, did we build it? There we go. Okay, so we need some weed. <laughs> Let's get some weed. <laughs> Yes, don't forget to give the stream a thumbs up if you guys are enjoying. I know I'm enjoying this. Like, you know, wait, I'm already excited for, like, part two, whenever we get there. Okay. Tell Grandma. Okay. Um, we have a lot of quests, too. I like this. Okay. So, let's go tell Grandma that we built a compost, and then let's go to the secret woods. Oh, there she is. I wish the game gave you more freedom to decorate the witch's lair. That would be pretty cool. Great job. 
Now we just need to fill it with weeds and let it work its magic. Then we can start making garden beds. Cool. This is my favorite stream so far. Oh, I'm so glad. I hope you can decorate your basement sanctuary. It's cute, but could be cozier. I agree. All right, let's go find Angus. Yes, I am that Angus. Excuse me? Oh, I could tell you were wondering if you recognized me. I am indeed the Angus who was on an episode of Baking Battles. <laughs> Always nice to meet a fan. Oh my god. Oh, yes, I thought that was you. What with this being a, a bakery and all. <laughs> yeah, I guess it's obvious. My little claim to fame. Okay, we met everybody. get our prize from the mayor wonderful the last citizen has let me know that you've been introduced as promised here is your reward for playing our little game we hope it helped you acclimatize <gasps> Thanks. Money. Uh, money's great too though <laughs> cool Alrighty. Let's go talk to Violet so we can, like... I place a monthly order for fresh flowers, Violet. It, it's not like I asked for a rush job. I'm sorry. It's just that the fairy's running behind schedule. Again. Maybe if the fairy wasn't underfunded, this wouldn't happen. Make excuses if you like. Late is late, as I tell my students. Bad time? Ugh. No. It's fine. I just... When my dad was mayor... The fairy always ran on time. Hey, do you have any wildflowers growing on your farm? Maybe I could make some substitutions. Uh, sort of? How do you feel about thistles? You're suggesting I make a bouquet out of thistles? <laughs> thistles? Oh, look, if you don't want them, did you hear me say no? The sooner I can get Vanessa out of my hair, the better. Okay, I don't like Vanessa. She was so rude to Violet. That was unnecessary. Ugh. I love the animation in this game. I agree. I completely agree. Oh, what are you doing over here, Lena? Hmm? You going for a walk? So, how are your parents? Oh, I'm, I'm realizing I don't know their names. I always called them Mr. and Mrs. Doll. It's all right. You could call my dad Marcus now, if he still lived here. He's in a retirement home in Milkwater. And Lisa, that's my ma, passed away eight years ago. I am really sorry to hear that. It's okay. All in the past, right? Aww. Okay, is this the tree? Yes. Okay, cool. Let's get our wand. Uh, let's see. The inscription says, If I be worthy, ancient tree, give a silver branch to me. Please? <gasps> wow! I mean, uh, uh, thanks, magic tree. We have a wand! Okay, show grandma the wand. All right, all right. I feel like I wanna get some more, some more resources while we're out here. The tree has mushrooms on it. I know, it's so cute. I feel like the um, the graphics kind of remind me of a farm together. The mayor and the first lady are giving major ick energy. <laughs> I agree. I agree. One hundred percent. Okay. 
Okay, where? I want to buy some bait. Oh, I guess I don't need to buy bait. Let's see. I need. Oh, let's talk to Damon. I don't know who hey I there, want my love interest Pass to be. Pass a message yet. to Hazel for me. Any as boats? As long as it's appropriate. Tell her that during my last shift, I didn't break a single glass. What? It's been a goal for a long time. If you guys have a vote on who you want my love interest to be, put it in the comments. Okay. We need to try to catch a, a sea bass, right? Mm -hmm. I do love the doctor. I'm partial to Damon. I like Violet and Kai. Having a doctor in the family has its benefits, though. True. <laughs> I like... Oh, I just read that. So we've got Amira, I think it's the doctor. Damon. Violet, Kai. Violet or the doctor. F the dudes. <laughs> oh, would you look at that beauty. <laughs> What would you like for your prize? I would like a shower. <laughs> nah, smelling like cut bait is part of the life. You'll get used to it. Speaking of bait, here's some more. I've given you three different Thank kinds you. of bait. Give them all a try. They'll catch different fish in different water. Happy angling. I think it purposefully locked you out of the small fish so you could see catch. Oh, okay. Task complete. I've been rewarded with fish stew recipe awesome thank you bruno all right um i didn't see a mira i would rather not smell like bait oh there she is let's talk to her you seem very cosmopolitan uh, amira or 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 dr syed oh gosh amira is fine <laughs> there's no need for formalities in a town with one restaurant Fairhaven is by far the smallest place I've ever lived. But I've adjusted, and so will you. Oh my gosh. Amira. Okay. We need to go talk to Grandma. Yeah, can Violet be... Oh, I don't think Violet is a love interest potential. I think our options are Kim, Kai, Demon, Cameron, and Amira. More people come later, so maybe wait. Oh, good call. Good call. I like it. Oh, and I need a purple, one more purple flower, one more thistle for Violet. Still rooting for Bruno. <laughs> He's got life experience. I don't think he is an eligible bachelor. Oh, here we go. Okay, let's go talk. Mm, let's go talk to Violet first. I progressed all the way with Violet and she only became my best friend. Well, I'll still take Violet as a best friend. I feel like she get, definitely is giving best friend energy. Have you guys seen Emily in Paris? I haven't watched the whole thing, so I don't know everything that happens. But she is giving me um, the, I don't even know her name. Um, 
she's giving me, like, the best friend, or, like, the girl that Emily meets. Do you guys know who I'm talking about? I don't know. So, Not her looks, just her energy. Put in my bouquets? Speaking of The Bachelor, we need to watch those episodes. We do. Stress no more. I found just the thing. See? They're pretty. Yes. Those will do nicely. <sighs> it's hard sometimes. Filling all these orders to decorate the house I grew up in. Whoa, does the mansion go with the job? Yep. Anyway, thanks. You saved my butt. Ooh. <gasps> we got flowers! Um, it looks like Violet is really getting to know Tara. Keep an eye out for her around the island at different times and something special might happen. Ooh. I like it. Mindy. Mindy. Yes, she reminds me of Mindy. I won't say anything else because I don't want to give spoilers, but if you guys haven't seen Emily in Paris, I haven't finished season two yet. I'm, I'm like over halfway down with season two, but it's really good. <laughs> Violet has a brother named Sebastian. Oh, wait, that's Violet's brother. Okay, we met Sebastian. No romance there. Okay. Dang it, we almost had a second Sebastian. <laughs> but yeah, she doesn't look like Mindy, but her vibe, like the way that she acts, like... I don't know, I'm just- I just got her energy. Is your wand ready? <laughs> yes. Look. <gasps> Careful where you point that thing. Oh my, you have a lot to learn. I dropped a skittle. But it's I'm... time for you no idea to meet where it went. the oh. coven. Are you ready to go? Oh god. Yes, I'm ready to meet sure. the coven. Let's go. Okay. The brambles only allow friends of the coven through, so this incantation helps it to identify you. Once it meets you, it'll know you're a friend and let you through from now on. Say the spell when you're ready. Okay, read the incantation Grandma gave you while standing next to the bramble gate. Here we go. A friend of the coven comes to you. Unravel your brambles and let me through. Oh, it worked! Well done. Now, let's head on up. I love Grandma's outfit. It's so cute. Those pants are adorable on her. Grandma, what is this I feel place? like that's Violet. Who are these people? Right there. You've got to be properly introduced. <gasps> I'm so excited to see who else it is. Who approaches the sacred circle? I bring one who wishes to know the mysteries of this coven. Um, hi. Welcome, Initiate. Elder Hazel has told us so much about you. I am the High Priestess of this coven. Before you can join us, you must vow to never reveal the location of our circle or the details of our rights to any others. Do you promise to abide by our covenants? Sure. Um, I promise. I'm so excited that I'm a witch. This is going to be so much fun. Uh, uh, about that, honeybee. You're not a witch. Not yet. First, you must cast the initiation rite. Oh, okay. Um, but how do I, how do I do that? Speak to the Farseer over yonder. Who is that? He will explain the art of incantations. You have been awarded with Boost Harvest Potion. Okay. Recipe. Speak to the Farseer to begin learning incantation magic. Okay. Boost Harvest Potion can now be crafted at your cauldron. Okay. So this is Violet. I, I'm guessing I don't I can't see who that is I really hope that this is not Vanessa I'm gonna be pissed if this is Vanessa this means whoever we saw trying to get into the woods earlier wasn't a friend of the coven 
they couldn't get through. Wait, I don't remember that. This is gonna be Bruno, and I don't know who that is. Are you the Farseer? Those are just what? my guesses. Yes, yes, Farseer, that's me. No, I'm nearsighted, Farseer. <laughs> you know, you sound a little bit like you Bruno. You have no idea who I am? I'm wearing a mask. Listen, do you want to sit here playing guessing games, or do you want to learn more magic? Magic. Great. Oh. I'm going to teach you the art of incantations. Mm, tricky stuff. Mess it up, and there won't be much left to you beyond dust. That sounds a bit dangerous to start with. Only to fool initiates that don't follow instructions. Now, listen closely. Are you ready? I'm ready. Great. I need you to chop lots of wood. What? Turn it into paper. Right. You'll need a paper press. Put it in your tool shed. How will this help me with incantations? All will be revealed. <laughs> One of us is clearly crazy. I'm beginning to think it's me for listening to you. Okay. How am I supposed to get a paper press? Like, wait, oh. Oh, okay, so this is where I'm at now. I do remember the white, the spooky lady in white. Yes, I remember that. Paper press, build it at your shed. Okay, so I have to leave. Do I talk to these people? Um, uh, excuse me, uh, your magicalness. High Priestess works fine, you know. Oh, uh, okay. Um, Ugh. well, this High Priestess. Annoying. I don't like this person. How long has this coven been in Fairhaven? Witches have always been drawn here. And because of that, the coven has been here for many, many generations. I welcome you to this gathering. All right, well, I guess we just leave, right? Because it's 10.20 p.m. Ooh, let's get these. There's an option to build your tool shed next to your house. Oh, build in your tool shed, okay. Kitty. Aww, who's a good kitty? I wish it had a name. Okay. Let's go. So we need to get wood, build a paper press, and then make two pieces of paper. Purring, I know. Okay, okay. Chill, 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 chill. Let's see what we need for the... Is that not where I build it? Is it in here? Oh, maybe I shouldn't have done this right now. You know, I don't think I've been in here since your grandpa died. Sorry, I was just looking around like you said. I didn't mean to pry. No, no, it's fine. I just wasn't as good with my hands as he was. He gave most of his tools to Thomas, since I knew he'd put them to good use. If we want to get this place up and running, though, we'll need to put in the work here, too. We always made a whole lot more money from his crafts than just the farm produce alone. If you ever want to try your hand at it, I kept the blueprints to all his tools right here. Thanks, Grandma. Not sure if I'm a handy Tara, but... I'll try for us. 
I will buy extra paper. Okay, good to know, good to know. All right, here we go, paper press. Okay, so we need six pieces of wood, so we will do that in the morning so we don't pass out. Is it time for bed? Yes. <laughs> You'll be able to name the cat later? Let's go. We need to start thinking of cat names. It's like we're watching You're the cutest up. movie ever. The mayor's What's called popcorn? a town meeting this morning. We should get down there and see what he's making a fuss about this time. Do you think it's some kind of trouble? Ah, uh, I really hope not, but I guess we'll see. Lead the way, Grandma. Follow me. Follow Grandma. Wait, let me quickly water my plants. I better follow Grandma to the town hall. Okay. I just wanted to water my plants, but... Someone remind me to water my plants before I go to bed. I'm trying to follow her. I want to... I, this is seriously the coolest thing ever. I love this. I'd better follow Grandma to the town hall. Okay. She walks a little slow. I love the name Salem. <gasps> I love that. It doesn't let you choose fully. It gives you options of names to pick from. Oh, okay. Settle down, everyone. Settle down. I've brought you together to discuss a very important matter. There have been very strange goings on in our beloved town of Fairhaven. There is a force at work in our community, and I don't know who's responsible, but whoever they are, they don't have Fairhaven's best interests at heart. Oh, I don't like where this is going. Me neither. I've seen strange lights in the forest at night. Yeah, and folks in robes and masks wandering around after sunset. Yes, yes, good. You know exactly what I'm talking about. Wait, I'm sure there's a rational explanation for all this. No matter the cause, we must ensure our town doesn't become a home for rouseabouts and unsavory types. I ask all of you to keep a sharp eye out for signs of mischief. And if you see anything, report it to me. Or me, if you prefer. I'd hate for anyone in Fairhaven to feel fearful. Well, I never. Mayor Otto, soft on business. <sighs> soft in the head is more like it. Him and his <sighs> fancy britches wife standing up there and casting judgment on others. Uh-oh. You're even madder than I thought. He can't just tell people to spy on their neighbors. To be so afraid that they distrust everyone around them. Maybe we could cast a goodwill spell to make everyone be nice to each other. I wish it were that simple. <laughs> but just because you can solve a problem with magic doesn't mean you should. Thomas could use some help on his farm. I know he's got an order of beans due and he doesn't have enough plots going to make it in time. He's too proud to ask for help, though. <laughs> Here, take these seeds. They should be enough to make the order. I'm already ahead of you. Beans? Oh, heavens no. But if you've got the means to give him a boost, it certainly wouldn't hurt. Okay, cool. Let's see, what do we have to do? The paper thing, wait for the potatoes, garden beds, and beans. Okay. Okay, let's go talk to Amira, if she's open. No, she's not open. She's closed Friday, okay. So maybe we'll see her around. You can build more plots. Okay, cool, 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 cool. So let's go get some wood so that we can make the paper maker and some plots. Let's see. What do we need? 
We need 10 wood and one dirt. Oh, and we need weeds for the dirt. So we need to find weeds. Weeds and wood. That's what we need. <gasps> Is that a hummingbird? Do you guys see this? It's a hummingbird. That's seriously the cutest thing ever. Okay. We are on a roll. What if Amira is in the coven? <gasps> we could be the cutest coven couple. Honestly, I love that. <laughs> dirt comes from the compost bin? Right. But don't I need to put weeds in there in order to get dirt from the compost bin? You need a compost pile to make soil. Okay, yeah, that's what I thought. I think I only have one weed. So I need to find more weed. Where do I find weed at? <laughs> or weeds? I am <gasps> all out of strength. I could eat some food. Yeah. No, wait. Um. Inventory. One more. Okay. Always on the hunt for weed. <laughs> on the ground in place of four tools. Okay. I will look for some weeds. Oh, can I? No. <gasps> There's a mouse! Look at the mouse! Why is this game the absolute cutest? This is literally... I can't handle this. Mushrooms. <gasps> oh, there's weed. Oh, there's a weed. Here we go. Okay. Okay, so we'll go here. Craft soil. Fertilize soil using compass wind. Oh, okay, so is it making it? It's take, gonna take 24 hours to make it? 24 in-game hours or real-life hours? <gasps> Desi, thank you so much for the subscription. You need energy? Okay. Inventory. Eat. Let's make that paper press. Build, okay. Let's go here. <gasps> Whoops. Okay, paper. Okay, there's our two pieces of paper. What else can we make? A candle maker, fermentation barrel, and a juice press. Okay, cool. 
Oh, I need to water my crops. I am loving this game so far. It is, <gasps> beans. It is so fun. Goodness. Have you played this game? Is it all just spooky? Have you played this game spooky? <laughs> Poor thirsty potatoes. I know. Okay, they're happy now. They're happy. Literally just commented on your video you just uploaded on organizing your desk. I was wondering if you had a gaming channel. And well, here I am. Welcome, Desi. I'm so happy that you found the gaming channel through that video congratulations on the engagement thank you so much you guys are awesome this game is so freaking fun oh thanks again for helping me out with the thistles no problem have you planted the tulip seeds i gave you if you grow flowers in your garden beds you can attract bees first you need to build a beehive for them here's some instructions if you keep the bees happy they'll make honey and beeswax the more flowers the faster the bees can produce honey so plant plenty i uh, love it do i really want to keep bees though won't they sting bees can feel your intentions you just have to come at them with the right energy come back when you have honey to sell and i'll buy some from you sweet oh my gosh okay so now we can do a beehive oh she just disappeared <laughs> okay we have to go find the the seer, the far seer. No, not yet. I might get it. Long time so of your makeup channel. Well, welcome. Our first harvest. I know, Stacy. I'm so happy about it. Oh, we gotta pet the cats. Aww, I'm sold. I'm gonna get it tomorrow. It, this game is seriously so fun. Okay, where are my people? Great, just what we need. Hang on to those and you'll have a use for them in two shakes. Incantations or spells read aloud. They require vast amounts of magic and special ingredients at the time of writing them down and are consumed when read aloud. But they make incredible change to the world. A lot of the most powerful spells are incantations. Whoa. What do I need to do? I like your spirit. <laughs> the next step is obvious. Time for you to go fishing. Wait, what? Ah, just any old fishing. You'll only catch what you need at the beach, which is south of Thomas's farm. You must catch me some squid. I've had a hankering for calamari for days now. I thought you were <laughs> teaching me to do these powerful spells. I am the best way I know how. Pay attention. Go get me those squid. Okay. There's no question that that's Bruno. <laughs> that's amazing. Okay. <laughs> oh, gosh. Wait, we have to talk to Grandma. You did a great job casting your incantation to get your wand branch. But actually writing incantations can be a touch trickier. Yes, I gathered that I have a lot to gather. It's not just that. When you write your incantation, you'll need to draw magic from the wellspring to charge it with power. Draw what from where? Didn't you notice the great big cauldron right by the circle? Yeah, but I just figured it was for extra big batches of potions. Oh, no. <laughs> no, no. The coven cauldron is where we leave offerings for the wellspring, the source of all magic here on the island. Our task as a coven is to maintain the wellspring. We cannot draw more energy from it and we put in. Okay. I wrote the incantation you read before the Elder Tree, drawing from my magic reserves. But to craft your initiation incantation, you'll need your own. Go on. 
and offer something to the wellspring. Over time, you will learn that it likes some offerings more than others. Try different things and see what happens. Good night, Spooky. I'm so happy you found the gaming channel. I hope you have a great night. Hey, you can call me the Acolyte. It's nice to meet Acolyte. you. Acolyte. But I'm not supposed to speak to you much yet. I'm trying to... Wellspring. What can I put in here? A thistle? Whoa, so now I can cast spells? Cool. Careful. We must never draw more magic from the wellspring than we need. Our offerings keep it in balance. What happens if it falls out of balance? Nothing for you to worry about, my dear. It is all of our responsibility to maintain the cauldron, and we've never failed in my lifetime. Just... Remember to leave offerings regularly. Okay, okay, I will. Good girl. Now, you'd better get to work on writing your first incantation. I feel like I need to put another thing in there. You can see the purple bar. Oh, okay, so I'll do one more so that we're full. Our bar is full. You can offer pretty much anything that you forge. Okay, cool. Okay, so we need to get a squid for the farseer. Potatoes, three garden beds, eight beans for Thomas. We need to plant flowers for honey. So we need to build another garden bed basically. When you choose the offering to show how good. Okay, yeah, 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 cool. I'm trying to type one handed on my iPad while feeding a four year old who's refusing dinner. Oh, no worries, Audrey. <laughs> Do I do this? Might as well. All right. Wait, so did I give him those or? No, not yet. Okay, so I need to go find Shelby. I think Poncho is sleeping. Yeah, if you guys hear me, I don't think you guys can hear him. Okay, is there anything else for me to forage while I'm out here? I should probably just go to sleep. <laughs> Some are better pay than others. Oh, okay, cool. Does it tell me I'm how sleepy. much? Does it tell me how much it's gonna pay me before oh. I accept it? Hello. Oh, you brought Ponton water. Jarvis, have you had my stream pulled out? This game is literally so fun. Do you like it? <laughs> it's well, it kind of so... looks like Sims. Little funky Sims. Yeah, like this scene kind of does. But yeah. it's so fun. That's awesome. <laughs> you need to drink. Um, yeah. Coke? Gotcha. Thanks. Okay. Well, 
let's get to work. Oh, are our potatoes ready? <gasps> yes, our potatoes! Okay, let's post, or plant our flowers. Oh, thank you. I appreciate <laughs> that. Thank you. He was snoring away. I don't think so. You got what? Oh, okay, have fun. Love you. One for mushroom mushrooms for Shelby was 35. Oh, okay. Do I need to find grandma? Tell her about my potatoes. I can't thank you enough for helping out here, sweetheart. Are the potatoes ready to harvest? Oh, yes, they yes, are. grandma. Here's four potatoes from the field. Oh, wonderful. Maybe you've got a greener thumb than you thought. Why don't you take them down to the general store and sell them? I'm sure Lena will give us a fair price for them. Okay. I love that I'm trying to do this on mouse and keyboard, too. <laughs> I guess it's mostly just keyboard, but it's really fun. There's not really time limits either, if I remember correctly. That's awesome. I love that. Okay. Let's see here. Uh, where am I even going? Oh, Lena. Let's go sell our potatoes to Lena. Oh, there's Kai and Damon. Yeah, there's Vanessa. Okay, I'm gonna sell potatoes. Go. Okay, so she sells. Oh, wheat seeds. I don't have wheat seeds. I'll buy one. Kind of expensive, but I'll take it. Gonna leave her alone. Let's talk to Damon while we're here. So, the schoolhouse here. Is that where you went to school? Sure did. That's when the other Mrs. Soft. Otto's mom was the teacher. She was a free spirit. Liked to hold class out on the beach. It's funny Otto turned out the way he did, given his parents. Wait, who's Otto? What did he just say? I totally missed that. Let's talk to our lady. No Ruz Pierus, Tara. It's the Persian New Year today. Oh, oh, she's Persian. Happy New Year's. Are you doing anything to celebrate? Oh, something absolutely thrilling. I'm cleaning out my closet. <laughs> it's tradition to clean everything before no ruse, but I ran out of time, so day of cleaning will have to do. I can't wait to get this game. Kristen, this game is literally so fun. <laughs> okay, let's go find Shelby. Otto is the mayor? Oh, he dissed the mayor by saying his mom was nice, but he turned out unlike his mom. Okay, okay. Oh, Kim. I like Hazel. She reminds me of my grandmother. When I came out, my dad had a hard time with it. Obasan told him to get over himself. <laughs> ah, I really miss her. Aww. Oh, Shelby. Oh, this way. I have mushrooms for you. That's 
useful. I thank you. You're welcome. Oh, I was gonna say, did that help my hearts with him? Okay. What else? What else? Oh, we have to tell Grandma we sold. Oh, we have to get a squid. Garden beds, beans, honey. Okay. You missed a weed? Oh, I did? Okay, let me look for it. Oh, there it is. Thank you. Oh, Mandrake. What is this? Oh, a peanut. Okay, let's see if we can catch a squid. We have to do that in the ocean, right? I'm thinking Amira might be in the coven because she either has a triangular, oh, necklace, or it might be part of her shirt, but it's kind of triangular, one of the masks. <gasps> That makes sense. I noticed her necklace. I'm off for an evening walk, so I'm not sure if I'll make it back before you end the live. Can't wait to see you play more of this game. Good night, Nicole. I hope you have a great walk. Thank you so much for joining. Um, oh, we have to go south of the farm. Oh, not this way. south of Thomas's farm? Is that right? Okay. Let's see what we get. is so freaking cute. Wait, yeah. Oh, we caught a squid. Okay, cool. Okay, let's go to the foreseer and hopefully grandma's there and we can tell her about selling the potatoes. Might need to look for a squid shaped shadow. Oh, well, that lo didn't look like a squid, <laughs> the thing that I caught. It looked kind of like a crustacean. Ew, get away from me, Vanessa. Oh, there's Grandma. Lena bought the potatoes just as you said. Oh, here's the money, Grandma. Ah, I won't hear of it. You did all the work. You deserve the reward. But Grandma, I... I mean it. If Lobster you want to shadow keep fixing for things up around here, you'll need all the cash you can get anyway. Buy some more seeds. If we keep the fields planted, you'll always have a way to make ends meet. Well, okay. But only because I'm going to use the earnings to help the farm. Yay! Hey, Violet, can I ask you about Marisoft's getting to know you game? It's so creepy, right? My dad totally didn't make people do that when he was mayor. Otto made a lot of changes since he took office, but he's mayor at least until this fall, for better or worse. Hi, Sabrina, welcome to the stream. Um, what was I gonna say? Oh, who's her dad? Do we know her dad? Oh, we got a heart with her.
No, we don't know her dad. Okay, cool. Ooh, another white flower. I wonder if there will be a vote for a new mayor in the future? That would be awesome. So, when you finish your lunch, can we get back to incantations? No, no, these aren't for lunch. You need to make some nice black ink, and squid ink is the best. You could have said so. I just did. Now, you'll need a desk. Set it up in your sanctum. Ah, that's your basement. You wouldn't want anyone to happen on your half-written incantations. Once you've got your ink, there's a couple more things you'll need. Come back here, and I'll give them to you. Okay. So we have to go make a desk. Mayor reminds me of the evil mayor from Halloween Town. I know, Mayor Soft. That's his name. I'm glad Grandma has friends here. I felt so sad for her in the- Oh, has friends here. I felt so sad for her in the beginning. But look at her hanging out with all of her pals. I know! She seemed so lonely and sad. But I'm glad that she has all of her friends. So, oh, I did not mean to do that. Okay, let's see. Journal, paper press. Wait. Okay, I need to make a beehive. Let me go ahead and make a beehive. Okay. Garden bed. Builds. Mm. Don't pack the soil too tight now. You'll choke the seedlings. Oh, hello, Thomas. I didn't hear you. That's because I don't wear big, clumpy boots like you city folk. Anyway, <clears throat> not a bad effort for your first plot. Wow, you give compliments? Don't make me regret bringing these for you. <laughs> Thank you. But what's the occasion? Hazel's a good woman. Strong. But you don't need me to tell you she's struggling. So when I saw you out helping with the garden beds, well... She's not the only one who appreciates it. I'll do my best with these seeds. I kind of totally blanked out on what he said. He does seem to be softening up, but... Ugh, I need another weed! I, like, was not paying attention to what he said. I know he gave me carrot seeds. Okay, so... I need eight pieces of wood and 50 gold. Well, shoot!
Can Thomas be a love interest? I love the evolution of their interactions. I don't know if he can. <gasps> okay, we'll go to bed. <laughs> I'm almost out of energy anyway. Should I go to bed? <sighs> I want her to wear like a farmer girl outfit. <laughs> He said that grandma is struggling and many people appreciate you helping her and they see you working hard. Okay, cool. Thank you. Oh, another cutscene. <gasps> oh, hey there, kitty. Do you belong with my grandma? Meow. Oh, you're a good kitty. Grandma, you didn't tell me you have a cat. A cat? <laughs> the last cat I had was old Shadow, rest his soul. He wasn't much to look at, but he was a darn good mouser. This <laughs> cat isn't yours? <laughs> she seems awfully familiar with your garden. Oh, no. I don't own that cat. What a notion. She's a good friend to have around, though. So play nice. Aww. Oh, look, there's bees. Okay, let's see if we can find another weed. <gasps> There's a weed. Okay, let's put the weeds in the compost bin so that we can get more soil. Does it look like you can customize your character in this game? Aw, oh, man. There hasn't been a cat in these parts for 84 years. How old is Grandma? Have you gotten to the part where it tells you to keep flowers planted by your bees? Yes. Yeah, so I have a, like, she gave me flowers. So they're in the flower thing next to the bee. Next to the beehive. That's really interesting because a lot of witch vampire lore believe that cats choose people. This is true, I have heard this. Okay, I need to make some money. Because I don't have enough. Oh! <gasps> Listen to that purr! Aww. Even when they're ready to harvest, just leave them? Okay, cool. Good call, good call. Let's see if there's anything that I can do on the board. For money. <sighs> mm, no, I can't do anything yet. Let's see, what's in my journal? Okay, so we need a desk, but I need money. A garden bed, beans, honey. All right. Let's see if we can sell this guy anything. It's so, oh, like, cool of you to come hang with Hazel. When I first took over my stall from the last owner, Hazel came and bought chocolate every day. Turns out she doesn't even like chocolate. She just figured if other people saw her giving me business, they would too. Well, I do Aww. like chocolate, so you will be seeing a lot of me too. Sweet. 
paper. Okay, let's go make some paper then. Well, let's talk to our... I don't know if she works today. No, she's closed. Aw, she's playing guitar. Finished the game about a year ago, and there hasn't been any since. They do updates to this game. Yeah, I think I saw the romance update was recent, at least for, like, Steam. Like, it was last year for sure. Now let's go sell this to Kai. Hopefully he's still there. If the cat doesn't interact well with you, I believe it's because you are not their person. It might sound silly. I definitely believe that. I feel like I am not a cat person. I feel like I'm not meant to be a cat person. And it's more than just, like, it has nothing to do with me not liking animals or cats. Like, I love animals and cats, but I just feel like a disconnect. So either... I'm not meant to be a cat person, period, or I just haven't met my cat yet. <laughs> Released on Steam, maybe, but I played on iOS early last year. Okay. Maybe it was a phone game that they turned into full console PC. I think that that it that is how it was. Now we have enough. Ugh. See you later, dude. We have enough money, but we need more wood. Um, and I don't have anything to eat. I need to like make something to eat. Maybe your kitty hasn't found you. Yeah, that's how I. That's that's what I I could very well see. Kai has sex appeal there. I said it. <laughs> Kai definitely does. Um, oh, let me see if I can cook anything. It was released on mobile in 2021. Yeah, I think the romance thing was an update. Um, I forget what else. Oh, I can't make that. Here we go, I can make this. Okay, so now... I can eat the fish stew. And regain some energy. Didn't someone say the moonflower tea was good for energy? Yeah. I made I made one moonflower tea. Where can I chop some wood? Let's look at Luke's farm. Or not Luke. What's his name? Thomas. Hi. It's me again. I've been trying to help out my grandma, but I don't know much about farming at all. Yep. Like I said, not so easy. Hazel's got some of the best soil on the island. Shame for it to go to waste. Look, city girl, just water your plants and you'll do fine. You use the beans? Oh, frick. Frick, I didn't even think about that. What are you doing here, girl? 
Has Damon hit on you? Or have you not met him? I, um... Uh, you're new and cute, so it won't be long if he hasn't yet. <laughs> yeah, you're yet, Luke. I don't know. Did the bees make any honey yet? Oh, no, no not but yet. they're working on it. I think? It, it's hard to tell. Make sure you give them lots of flowers. A good variety helps, too. I think I have an extra thing of beans, so... <laughs> my, my two interests. So what made you set up a practice in Fairhaven? Oh, sleeping at the hospital, pinched nerves from standing all day, a caffeine addiction, all the delightful hallmarks of doing is my residency at the player? busiest hospital in the city. Not that maintaining my practice here is easy, but my life feels more balanced. Man, it takes a long time to get a heart with like love interests I think Kristen meant is he a player like a like he's pulling all these girls player Damon definitely has player vibes you know he's flirting everyone up at the bar yeah for sure okay I need to chop some wood Yeah. enough wood now I have 12 I feel like it takes 10 oh I'm gonna use up all my energy it'll be easier once you can start gifting oh I was gonna ask if we can gift people things because I feel like that like would be that would make sense i'm obsessed with this game now isn't it amazing ariana i'm like <laughs> i love it it's a good change of pace from stardew valley don't know if you saw but the update is things you can do after the main storyline ends wait oh <gasps> really wait the update that already came out or there's going to be an update I saw recently they posted saying that they had, like, um, that they were working on community feedback stuff, but, like, they didn't say what it was yet, but that could have been old. Oh, wait, no, I forgot the basement. So I, I did a desk. Craft. All oh, right. The update that's already out. Oh! So after tonight's stream, what will you play next? I don't know. I don't know if maybe I should do... I don't know, honestly. What would you guys want to see? I want to still do both, so... Apply this potion to plants and get more produce. Oh! How long does this take? Seven hours, okay. I'll apply that to my beans. Maybe that will work. Um, okay, so I still have that working. Ten wood, okay. 
tell the farseer that he built a desk. Okay, well, I guess I'll do that tomorrow. I'll go ahead and go to sleep. Oh, am I ready for bed? So this might be a stretch, but what if the guy oh. we think is Bruno is actually oh. Shelby? Because they both have white hair and Shelby lives so close to the bramble. I feel like it would be a good twist. Stacy, I like that. I still think it's Bruno. Everything points to him. It says, change the seasons, deepen your connection with your sweetheart, and experience new story and events. <gasps> that sounds amazing. I love that. Okay. Oh, we still need to water them. Okay. Oh, I'm out of water. Is this ready yet? Nope, almost. Okay, so I guess we'll spend today foraging. <gasps> There's weeds. All those are in the main storyline already for mobile, so that makes sense if they added them. Okay. I feel like there was another piece of wood there. There it is. Mushrooms. I just noticed it when you were over there because you were right in front of Shelby's house and then like three steps you were at the Bramble. It seems like such a coincidence. That would be a really good plot twist, honestly. And I feel like this is the type of game that would like do a plot twist. I'm asking when will you play more of this? Oh, I'm obsessed with this game and have to see each other through her magical journey. Um, I don't know. So tomorrow's Friday. Um, is my girl not open on Mondays? Closed Monday, Friday, and Sunday. Wow. I don't know. I definitely won't be playing Saturday. I might stream tomorrow. I don't know if I'll stream Stardew Valley or this next. It'll be one or the other. And then I'll probably stream Sunday again. I've been having so much fun streaming with you guys. Jarvis is like cackling in the other room. So if you hear her, like screaming, that's him. <gasps> They're both at the beach lot and fish. No stream Monday unless it's after nine. Oh, true, 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 because Monday is The Bachelor. Tara Tuesday, Tara Thursday. I like. That could work. Tuesdays and Thursdays, we could stream wildflowers. I like that. Does that work for you guys? Do you feel like you get more interaction streaming on YouTube than you did on Twitch? Um... 
intense, honestly. Oh, Wild Wednesday? Uh, Wildflower Wednesday? Ah, what should I do? <gasps> okay. <laughs> this is a little sus right here. Stacy, what's happening right now? <laughs> This is a little sus. Can I forge stuff back here? I want this purple mushroom. What is this? Hmm. It's the twist of all twists. <laughs> the thing is on, when I was on Twitch, I was streaming a lot of Fortnite. So it's very different than streaming like a, a calm, like cozy game like this more random people would pop up on Twitch for sure. But there was like, like peak Twitch, like there was a lot of interaction, lots of viewers, a lot of interaction. Um, so it's just different, but I, again, I'm also playing different games. Um, I'm just like walking around. <laughs> Oh, I think I can build my plot thing now really quick. Tara, hello, welcome. Tara Inception, our main character, Tara, if you didn't know, we're playing Wildflowers and our main character's name is Tara. Oh, I need two more pieces of wood. Are you kidding me? I need more wood. I don't know if there's any over here. <gasps> Can I cut this down? I've watched a lot of your streams, but this game makes me want to interact and chat more. I've never really done that. Finally. Well, I am so glad that you're enjoying the game. That's like, having a community online is just so awesome. And it's definitely like, the goal here. Amber, hello, welcome. Oh, I don't have enough money. Oh, shoot. Well, time to go see the Farseer. A sign I need to get this name game. Yes, Tara, this game is so fun. Twitch definitely had good interaction. I just feel like it's more consistent here, which might be the game change too. Yeah, I agree. I also feel like a lot of people that ha know what YouTube is don't know what Twitch is. So, like, like, I feel like it's more likely for those of you who may, like, not have watched video games but watched she's not in the forest um maybe you watch like makeup content and stuff on youtube and you don't know what twitch is but if i have a youtube channel for gaming maybe you would be more apt to you know like checking it out <laughs> i don't know i do love twitch still but i i like our i like our youtube fam over here it's really nice all right, I think I've walked you through the tricky bits. This here will explain the extra bits you need. Once you have them, go and write it at your newly made desk. Technically, this isn't an incantation. This is just a piece of paper with some mumbo jumbo on it. Well, then what's the difference? When you go home and write this on your freshly pressed paper, hold the authoring in your other hand. 
That's your thistle. You must concentrate on every word as you write it. You'll know it's working if, as you finish, the offering has vanished and you feel some of your magic is drained away. Then the page you've created will be an incantation. You should take it to the High Priestess when it's ready. What does this incantation do? That's not for me to discuss. Okay. Hey, welcome to the Bad Lighting and Great Costumes Club. We meet every night. Hmm. Hmm, Audrey, I wonder who that is. I'm people. See? Yes. Hmm. That voice sounded awfully familiar. Listen, kitty. Audrey pushing her in the right direction, though I'm not sure if she's ready for that quite yet. Wait, what is happening? I gotta talk to the yellow person again. Is anything different gonna happen? No, I can't talk to them again. Okay, let's write our incantation, or whatever it's called. If we can even get home in time, my goodness. You should say something to everyone though? Okay. Okay. Um, okay. I kinda wanna try to do this desk thing. Oh, my potion. Okay, so I need witch weed. How the heck do I get witch weed? I have paper and black ink. Okay. So I don't know how to get witch weed yet. I'm sleepy. I think you might have missed one on the far oh. side of the cauldron. Oh. Okay, I'll look for it. Tuesday. Oh, is it raining? You get that near Thomas's farm? Okay. Okay, so I collected my four beans. Okay. We're gonna plant these beans now. So do I- I don't have to water? <gasps> All right. This is, this is, I like this. The person on the left side of the cauldron? Okay. Whoops, I am pressing the wrong buttons. So should I talk to them every night? Like, should I talk to every one of the witches every single night? The potion removes a day to speed up growth. Let's go. Okay, so I have to remember, don't use any more beans. Oh, here's a weed. And I see another one. Let's go. Let's 
another weed. Okay. Let's go see if we can find a witch flower. I don't think I did all the time. Just the first several days. I did it all the time. Oh, okay, okay, okay. <gasps> Here we go. Witch weed. What is this place? Interesting. Look at this old rundown ranch. I hope it gets fixed up one day. Ah, uh, can that be my ranch? Okay, let's go write our incantation or whatever it's called. You don't need to, but later quests require you to figure out who they are. So talking to them and the townspeople helps figure out speech patterns. Okay, cool. Oops, I didn't mean to talk to you, Grandma. Oh boy. Tell the Farseer you created the initiation rite incantation. Okay. Maybe I should go fishing. Can I sell my fish to make money? Oh, also I have to talk to Amira. Shelby. Evening, kitty. So cute. I ran into Natalia at the diner, and she asked me to vet her dating app profile. I did my best, but I don't understand why anyone bothers with dating apps. I've never used them. And even if I wanted to, they don't cater to queer women. Amira. Oh, just who I was hoping to see. Who? Me? Here, take this to Hazel. Oh, I couldn't. Uh, nonsense. Take it. Your grandma and I have a friendly pie rivalry of sorts. This is my answer to her last move. Hey, devastatingly perfect key lime tart. I bake with love. But I also baked a win. Okay. I'll make sure she gets it. Let me know how she likes it. I'll cater to you, Amira. Ah! Congrats on selling your first crop. How's it feel? <laughs> it's a relief. I was sure they'd be rotten or too small or taste <laughs> horrible. <laughs> but they're fine. Hey, that's better than my first cocktail. I tried mixing peppermint schnapps with pickle brine. Ew! Were you trying to kill someone? <laughs> no, but <laughs> my pride took a beating. Okay, do I have any fish I can sell you? Oh wait, don't I need... some fish the crab all right let's see what we can get people mm -hmm. 
I like pickles, but peppermint and pickle is too much. I agree. I've heard of like picklebacks and like different like pickle shots and things. <gasps> A coconut. But pickle and peppermint? Uh uh. Wait, what did I catch? Oh, a sardine. Let's try a cricket. What did that tell me to do was shift? Oh, got one. A Dorado. I've been pressing spacebar to catch. Let's see what it says. Maybe you need to shift your perspective. Oh. Ooh, quick. Ooh, gotcha. I don't know. I tried pressing shift and nothing happened. Okay, let's go see if Oh, who's this guy? Hola. Hey, new girl, Francis. how's farm life treating you so far? I'm still figuring everything out. Well, let me know if anyone ever repairs the entrance to the mine by your farm. I run the jewelry shop, but it's a bit hard making jewelry without actual jewels, you know? Crafting beautiful pieces is one thing, but sourcing the stones is tough. I'll let you know. What did he just tell, tell, say to me? <laughs> I was distracted, I was on my phone. I was distracted. What did he say to me? Something about gemstones or something? Let's see. Anna, welcome! The shot of whiskey with a pickleback is lovely. Oh, gotcha! Ugh, I'm not much of a shot person, but... I've definitely had that before. If you like spicy, you should try hot and spicy pickles. Ooh. Okay, I don't like Cameron. I don't know why. He's touching base about the mine and dropping hints about fixing it so he can mine for more gems to keep himself in business. He wants someone to repair the mine. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Thank you guys so much. <laughs> well, oh, can I sell to him when he's here? No, I guess not. I think Lena's kids must have messed with the doors of the schoolhouse. She sure was at a temper last night. I was muttering something about the locks. The locks. Interesting. What does this mean? I need someone who made hot and spicy pickles. Oh, that sounds so good. You can also sell him gems. Okay, cool. Wait, I can sell Francis gems or or Bruno. Mining uses a ton of energy though. I could see that. Oh, what a good Francis. Girl. Okay, cool. Gotta get the mine repaired, yeah. Okay. Let's talk to the farseer. <laughs> Good job! You've made your first incantation. Usually you can just cast your incantations anytime you please. But for this one, you need the whole coven. Now take this over to the High Priestess. She'll tell you what to do. Okay. Try to not blow off any arms or legs while trying out new spells. It's harder to stay in secret society that way. 
I feel like that is uh, Damon. Have you the incantation for the initiation right? <gasps> is this a yes, mirror? It's ready. Good. Initiate Terra, give the incantation to Elder Hazel. She must be the one to cast it. Here's the initiation incantation, Grandma. Honeybee, before we get started, I have a gift for you. This has been in our family for generations, and it is our custom to pass it on at the time of initiation. Go what ahead. Is it? Try them on. <gasps> oh, like all before you, they fit you beautifully. Oh, I feel taller. <laughs> <laughs> that was done during my Aunt Vivian's time. She was a bit on the short side and wanted to appear more regal. So she spelled the robes. Then the other witches got jealous, and we might be magical, but we're still human. Elder Hazel, Initiate Terra, take <gasps> your Studio places Tridoc! for the night. Initiate, you seek new knowledge, but with it comes a sacred duty. Who brings forth this initiate to join our coven? I do. As the great wheel turns, so must we take our part. Here where our ancestors stood before us, and where others will follow. Oh my gosh. So much is happening right Enter now. our circle. For this is the hour. A fair haven witch comes into her power. <gasps> we have magic. Oh, I feel weird. But, but in a good way. You are ready. Return tomorrow, and we will continue your training. <gasps> we uh, unlocked an achievement. We are a witch. <gasps> we are loving your game, Studio Dry Dog. We, everyone here is obsessed. This is our first uh, introduction to the game. Thank you so much for stopping by into the stream. Oh my gosh. The whoopee cushion mom. <laughs> oh my gosh. It really heats up. Oh my gosh. Okay. Wow. Okay. We've been rewarded with things. Okay. Summon small things fell and something else. I missed it. <laughs> wow. Okay. 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 I'm so overwhelmed. <laughs> <laughs> As you may have sensed, your grandmother doesn't believe in keeping our identities secret. It's a noble idea, but I've concluded that it isn't practical. I'm dying to know who everybody is. I want to know so bad. <laughs> Until now, but it looks so fun. I want it. Bryce, this game is literally so fun. I just downloaded it today. Um, this is not what I meant to do. Let's see. No, I'm trying to talk to this person. I'm not the newest witch in the coven anymore. <gasps> now you have to run errands for everyone. Oh, that doesn't stop? Nope, it's in the fine print. Sorry. Ah, who could that be? Joining a new coven is thrilling. I felt that way myself when I was initiated. Just make sure you're not running yourself ragged. There's more to life than magic. Hmm. <laughs> Very interesting. Okay. So we still need to plant two more garden beds. We need three more beans because I accidentally used the ones that I needed. And then we need honey. I'm loving it so far. I'm not too far behind Paige. <laughs> I'm so happy that you guys are enjoying this game. Also, this kitty cat, I'm, I'm pretty sure I already... Oh, you, her, but... <laughs> oh, you think that's Amira? I, if Amira isn't in the coven, I'm gonna be crushed. <laughs> um, okay. 
I definitely think the high priestess is the mom because her necklace is the same blue color as that mask. Wait, who's the mom again? I forgot. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. It's almost midnight. We have some fish that we can hopefully sell. I'm literally purchasing this game after stream. Thank you for making such an amazing game. Yeah, this is seriously bl like blown my expectations out of the water. Lena? Oh. Lena definitely is a mom. Is that the whoopee? Oh yeah, that's the whoopee cushion mom, Lena. Okay, we need money. So is that, it time for bed? So that we can make another garden bed. And then we need to sell our fish to Bruno. We need to see if we can do that so that we can make money so that we can get, um, so that we can get the flower bed. I think our, oh, wait, do, do I not have to, cancel. Do I not have to water them today? Oh wait, should I, I should leave the flowers, right? So that I can get honey. Okay, that is almost done. Lena is the whoopee cushion mom. Okay, cool. <laughs> what a way to <laughs> remember her. <clears throat> and then Lena's husband is... I can picture him, but I am trying to remember his name. Studio Dry Dog also... Uh, bravo for the reputation in this game. Or representation in this game, yes. We love the inclus inclusivity and representation. <clears throat> the diversity in backgrounds is so refreshing. I honestly, like, I can't think of another game that is, like, even close to this as in terms of diversity. Um, oh, let's go see if we can sell our fish. Actually, let's see if we can catch some fish. I think the ocean is this way. <laughs> Ooh. <gasps> Whoa, what is this? Hey. Ooh. How's it going? What is it? I don't know. Um, let's see. Look, I'm learning all the keys instead of using my controller. Um, oh, it was a pearl. <laughs> That's the first pearl that I found. I know. We're, we're officially a witch now. You're a witch? Yes. What were your other options? No other option, but we, ha <laughs> we had all these quests we had to do to like earn our way into the coven. And like solidify our magic. Wow. I don't know what that means. But <laughs> that's cool. <laughs> solidify your magic. Is that magic? No. <laughs> we actually we have Studio Dry Dock in the chat right now. Oh no way. Yeah. That's sweet. We just got nominated for a Glad Award yesterday, as well as a bunch of. The Gaming Magazine Awards. Fingers crossed. That's so exciting. Who are we vibing with? Okay, first of all, um, Amira is my favorite. Um, I'm trying to wife her up. <laughs> we also love Damon. He's my other favorite. Jarvis wishes he understood. I know. <laughs> I do, I do. <laughs> we stand Amira. Oh, and Violet. I love Violet. She's gonna be our BFF for sure. Who's the mayor of the Lucia? Oh, it's um, Mayor <laughs> Soft. <is> <laughs> mayor Soft. We don't like Mayor, mayor Soft. Soft. No. He's a little too much. sleazy. Mm, not a fan of him. I sure wish Vanessa would pick a different Wait, this profession. is Bruno Soft. I think it's Wait, making enough like this dad? so much. And I want grandchildren someday. What? I remember how much fun you and Hazel no, had good, when you, you were small. I can't awesome. help but hope to have that too. 
Wait, did we know that this was the mayor's dad? Is this the mayor's dad? Thank you. <laughs> Thanks. Oh my gosh. Can we vote on that? Oh yeah, we. if we can vote, that'd be so cool. We wish we could wipe up Violet, this is true. I totally missed the audio uh, interaction right there. So many people. She is, oh, not, oh, okay. They're devastated that she's not romanceable. She is straight, okay. We were all devastated. <laughs> That makes sense. Yeah, did we just figure out that Bruno is the mayor's dad? What's the mayor's name? Eric? Um, all right. <laughs> Let's sell some things. I'll sell this dab and this flounder. Um, and this Dorado. Wow, we are rich now. Look at that. Okay, let's do our... Oh, I'm supposed to... I'm supposed to give a pie. Aren't I supposed to give a pie to Grandma? This is the homiest diner I have ever been in. Do you run it all by yourself? Oh, I've always been the only owner. Though my husband Giacomo used to help me. He passed two years ago. Pancreatic cancer. Oh, Sophia, I, I didn't know. Hazel was so sweet to me. She knew what it felt like on account of your Nano's passing. Aww. Whoops. Amira. Amira is such a flirt. I love Every her. time I think I've finished all my patient's insurance paperwork, I find more. Our insurance system is almost bad enough to drive me out of this field. Mm, almost. Mm. That is, um, we also have to make... We opted to not make our characters play sexual so they have full lives outside of Terra. Love that. Bruno is dad and he mentioned it earlier. Okay, I don't know how I missed that. I love Bruno, but not vibing with the mayor. He's trying to figure out what we're doing in our our coven and I am not a fan. Um, okay, let's see. What's on our journal? Oh, we can go make a garden bed now because we have money. Okay, cool. Everybody should go vote uh, for Studio Dry Dock for their award. Go check out their Twitter. Um, Kristen, I don't know if you're able to like link, um, link a tweet in YouTube chat. But if Kristen or Stacy is able to do that? That'd be sweet. Okay. Wow, we have plenty of weeds now. Okay, garden bed builds. doing a little reorganization here. Okay. Do I have enough resources to make another one? <gasps> yes! Mm, that might be too close. I'm trying to find the link now. Okay, cool. Both have played this, but the rest are new. I live for Amira. Yes, me too. <laughs> um, no spoilers, lol, but I'm holding out hopefully 
for the later romance option. Oh, true. I, I forgot that you said that. I did forget that. Okay, well, let's go tell Grandma that we finished the... Th oh, wait. Let me plant some things. Also, I think I saw something about unlimited inventory on your TikTok, Studio Dry Dock, if I'm remembering correctly. And I gotta say, I was so happy to see that. <laughs> um, hopefully, it's... How do I know how much time is, like, left in this season and stuff like that? Is it... Oh. And then I should plant something here, right? Carrots? That is correct? Yes! Literally, that's like one of my favorite parts of this game, honestly. <laughs> There's the tweet, perfect! I can fit a whole another row? Okay. I will move them then. Yeah, you're right. Because then I can do a gap here and then another row here. Good call, Luke. The season doesn't change until you want it to? <gasps> I love that. I love that. That's the one thing about Stardew Valley that stresses me out so much is how fast the time goes and how, like, if you miss a quest during a certain season, like, you're done for. For a whole freaking year. <laughs> we love our hoarding pals. Yes! <laughs> I literally try to like collect every single piece of like forageable or literally anything. I'm like, I want to have things just in case, you know. <laughs> People also uh, seem to love that the fishing game is wildly sim just wildly simple. Ah, I love it. <laughs> yes, I agree. I am so happy that the fishing is not. A, like a whole new like difficult gaming mechanic the settings you can also alter how long the days are too i saw that well i saw the day was set to like normal so i saw that you can adjust that which is super cool i feel like that makes it very um like adaptable for like all ages and like levels of like you know how much of a beginner of a gamer you are, or just like personal preference. Jarvis is in the chat. <laughs> we gotta pet our kitty. Thank you for voting, Jarvis. All right, let's go. What are we doing here? Oh, tell grandma. So we're still waiting on the honey and the beans. Well, I guess we can tell her here, right? The acolyte was the last witch initiated into our order. She can help guide you. Okay. Is that... As with all common knowledge, nope, witchcraft death. mythology is sprinkled with half-truths and outright fabrications. Okay. It took me Acolyte. ages to get this far in the coven. But don't give up. You'll get the hang of it. Okay. Let's talk to everybody. Ah, initiate. I'm Tara, remember? Not here, not now. You're a fledgling witch who is yet to master her powers. For that reason, we'll refer to you by the designation that indicates your skill level. Initiates are the first rank, but I expect anyone from Hazel's bloodline will quickly progress. To begin, as all witches before you, you must master the art of potion brewing. Speak to the Acolyte Witch, 
She will be able to guide you in your task. Okay, speak to the Acolyte Witch. Okay. High Priestess. Okay, so this is the Acolyte Witch. Whoops. The head witch lady said I should come and talk to you about potions. Right. We'll start you off with an easy one. That way you can't accidentally magic yourself into a pile of goo. What? <laughs> is, is that a thing that could actually happen? Theoretically, yes. Practically, I've never seen it, so relax. Anyway, if you like Elder Hazel, you'll have a natural talent for herb lore. Go home and make some herb grow potions. It will make your flowers grow faster. Oh. And other crops, too. Here's the recipe. Wait, wasn't I already back to that? Oh, no. No, no, no. Okay. Yay! Okay, let's see what we need. Is this what I can see? Oh, oh, oh. Oh, no, probably down here. Okay. Okay, so we need soil and red mushrooms. Yeah, Stardew Valley fishing is very difficult. I feel like that's the hardest... Like, well, out of Stardew Valley and Animal Crossing are really the only other games that I've played with fishing. Stardew Valley is definitely the hardest, in my opinion. And even Animal Crossing is pretty tricky. Is this Francis? He has a similar play. Mmm. Wait, no, I think... I think the, I'm not sure. Everyone has been so lovely and generous in chat. Thank you so much. So glad I stopped by. Thank you so much for stopping by Studio Dry Dock. We all appreciate it so much. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yes, come back again for sure. Oh, let's talk to Kim. I took care of my Obasan when she got sick, too. I'm really grateful I was able to have that time with her. But make sure you take care of yourself, okay? It's easy to forget to eat when you're in caregiver mode. Aww. Kim looking out for us. Oh, I love it. Oh, fish. Let's fish. Wow, that was so exciting, guys. <laughs> oh, quick, look oh shoot. What did we catch? A soul. Francis had a few moments where his voice got kind of sassy. Like the acolyte. Acolyte. I think it's I think they refer to the acolyte as she her. I could be wrong. I just added her address for that one. Oh! Oh my gosh. I'm so excited to keep playing this game. <laughs> okay, let's see. Okay, I don't think I have soil. Okay, so we'll have to wait until tomorrow to make the soil. Is grandma home yet? No, she's not. Oh my gosh, it's 1 10 a.m. Oh my god, that's the latest I've stayed up. <sighs> Good morning. Grandma, the garden beds are ready. Oh, I can't thank you enough for helping me like this. I found some seeds in the bottom of a drawer you might like to plant. Otherwise, there's more variety down at Lena's store. Oh, cauliflower. Let's go. Okay. Um, let's see if our soil is ready. Not yet. But it looks like <gasps> these carrots are ready. Ooh. Let's water these carrots. 
Let's plant our cauliflower. I'm so excited for you. This year is yours. Outgoing witchy stuff until all hours of the night. I know outdoing witchy stuff all hours of the night. I know for real. What is this? Oh, no. Oh, I watered that already. I see, I see. Okay, let's fill our watering can up. My watering can is already full. Okay. Wow, honey takes a while. Okay, so we need honey, beans, and soil is what we're waiting for. Oh, hello. Good morning. I've had an inspiration. Uh oh. Uh, when people here get inspired, that somehow always means more work for me. <laughs> you got me. Of course, I know you're busy, what with the farm and taking care of your gram, but I've been looking at old blueprints of the mine, and I think Parker could fix it up for you. Nothing to it but some new wood supports and some stone to build back up the rubble wall entrance. Anyhow, if you do get it fixed up and dig out some good iron ore, I'd be happy to smelt it for you. You're right. That does sound useful. I'll get to it. <gasps> okay. So, we have a new quest, the mine. So we need money and wood. <laughs> Hopefully we can do that. Let's see what we can find. Ooh, ooh, ooh. The more flowers you plant, the less time honey takes. If I remember correctly, okay. <clears throat> good call, good call. Once whatever I have there is done, then I will, I'll, I have more flower seeds, so I'll plant more flowers. I'm gonna use all my energy. So we have, we just need money. We need some money. Can I fish over here? Ooh. No, oh. no, no, no. Whoops. <laughs> I got faked out. <laughs> Whoopsie. What did we catch? A puffish. Okay, oh wait. Let's go ahead and use our last little bait. <laughs> Let's go. A stud fish. Gross. I love how it says gross. <laughs> okay, let's go sell this. And then we will go talk to Natalia. Is that, I think that's who I need to talk to. Oh, Mr. Bruno. Hmm. It makes me wonder if that is Bruno. Because wouldn't his son know about, like, witchcraft and stuff? And he wouldn't be, like, trying to out the oh, witchcraft if he knew about it. Bruno, I have some stuff to sell to you. Pup fish. And stuff fish. And soul fish. Oh, 
Okay. Now... Oh, it's a Parker. Parker, Parker, Parker. Who's Parker? Parker is... Is Parker Lena's husband? The garden looks so cute with the bees. Yes, I know. I need more flowers. Let's talk to Violet. Oh, a cutscene. Hi, Tara. I have been meaning to tell you. I love that little jacket dress combo. No one in Fairhaven cares much about fashion, <laughs> other than Princess Sophia and myself. Oh, thanks. That must have been one nice thing about living in the city. So many chic outfits to look to for inspiration. Hmm. It's too competitive. Yes, I miss it, or I don't miss it. I don't know. I think fashion in the city gets so competitive that everyone starts copying each other. We all end up looking the same. Hmm. I hadn't thought of that. <laughs> I guess there's some advantages to being stuck in a small town. Don't get me wrong. I like selling flowers, but my real dream is to open up my own boutique someday. When I do... Folks from Milkwater will be coming here to check out the latest styles instead of the other way around. Ooh, uh, we, she's our new acquaintance. How exciting. Oh my gosh. I honestly, Violet's outfit is so cute. Also, she's holding a broom. Is that like a low key, like hint? You know what I'm saying? I don't know. So many chic outfits, and you still wear the same thing every day. <gasps> Amira, I feel like we need a family tree. Your eyes? I agree. Your skin is so perfect. I didn't think that it could manifest bags. Ah, you <laughs> can tell that I was out late last night. I have a friend <gasps> I go see some nights, and when it's good, it's very good. But we're very similar, so when it's bad, one of us always ends up storming out. Last night it was me. Wait, I'm sad. Amira is seeing someone your else? Your dad was the one who ran the bar, right? What did your mom do when your parents still lived here? She set up a pharmacy where Amira's clinic is now. Some folks didn't take her seriously at first, seeing that she wasn't from Fairhaven or a doctor. But you only disrespect Kaya and Timbu Haas once before you learn never ever to do it again. <gasps> Excuse me. I know. I'm so sad. Um Parker, where am I going to find Parker? I have competition. The witch dean skipped Tara's dad. Oh, true. That is so true. So is Vanessa the mayor's wife, right? That's that's what we decided. Or that's what we understand. Parker, Parker, Parker. Where can I find you, Parker? Oh, wait. Maybe he's in that barn thing? Garage? <gasps> Is this Parker? Hey, Parker. Yes. Quick question. Did the mayor make you play a game to meet everyone when you first moved here? Well... Otto wasn't mayor back then. It was Violet's dad, Antonio Miranda. And no, I don't think he asked me to do that. It might have been useful, come to think about it. Some folks are harder to get to know than others. Wait, Parker. Bye, Sabrina. I hope you have a great night. Thank you so much for joining the stream. Hello again. Hi. You know, you don't see many blacksmiths these days. 
Yeah, I know. Oh, well, during my great grandpa hours. was a blacksmith, so I guess you could say it runs in the family. Of course, he died before I was born, but it's his hammer I've got. That's really cool. So your family taught you? Oh, nah, I'm self-taught. A city export like yourself. It's harder work than sitting at a desk, but it's more rewarding. You'll come to love it here. I'll see. Okay. Well. Let's see. Business hours. Okay, okay, okay. So tomorrow... Wait, is that his business up there? Let me see what his business hours are. Now I have that We Don't Talk About Bruno song stuck in my head, and I haven't even seen that movie. <laughs> um, Monday through Friday, 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Okay, cool. Let's go this way. Peanut. Oops, that's not what I meant to. But I'll take it. Oh gosh, I'm gonna run out of energy. I am all out of strength. I could eat some food to recover some strength, or try again tomorrow. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I just want to pet the kitty and then we can go to sleep. Oh, what a good person. Nicole, welcome back. Isn't it late over there? Yeah, it's 12.42 a.m. here right now. But I'm so immersed in this game. I can't stop. <laughs> we definitely have to see Parker tomorrow. Yes. So I think our beans might be done tomorrow. So I think we'll be able to finish these. Thomas, 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 Thomas. I'm trying to remember who Thomas is. <laughs> Who's Thomas again? Oh, the farmer. I'm glad I can make it. What have I missed? Oh, you've missed so much, Nicole. We're officially a witch now. We still don't know who these uh, secret witch people are, but. As with all common knowledge, witchcraft mythology is sprinkled with half-truths and outright fabrications. Acolyte. Oh. oh okay, okay, okay. Okay. I feel like, does running take away energy from me? Am I gonna like <laughs> pass out on my way home? <laughs> um, but yeah, so we're a witch now. Um, I'm trying to think of what else. We've just kind of been doing quests. We're not the biggest fan of the mayor. He seems a little sketch. Um, our farm, we're doing good on the farm. Running doesn't use energy. Okay, cool. That's awesome. Love that. <laughs> did I water? <clears throat> Yes, I did. <gasps> Yay! Okay, so I think we can make our first potion. Should I do that now? Okay, how long does this take? Eight hours, okay. Time for bed. Time for bed. Our suspicions are blue one is Amira and green one is Violet. And we think Bruno or Shelby is the other one. Do we think Vanessa is one of them? I don't think Vanessa is one of them. I hope not. <laughs> we think Vanessa was the one trying to creep in earlier in the game. Yeah, at the very beginning. I don't know if you were here for that. 
Stay a moment, honeybee. How are you finding the town now that you've met everyone? I know we're a bit different than the folks you might have known back in the city. That's a good thing, actually. I needed to say goodbye to all of that. For now, at least. You haven't said much about your <gasps> fiancé. Do you want to talk about what happened with... I'm sorry, I have such a bad memory for names these days. Wait, we had a fiancé? <gasps> Whoa, plot twist. Oh my... I need a moment. Okay, who is our fiance? Matt, Claire, or Sam? <sighs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh yeah, Nicole, the creator of the game, was in our chat. Studio Dry Dock, they're the creators. And they were chatting it up with us. It was so cool. Oh my gosh, I'm so overwhelmed. Who do we pick? Who do I pick, Matt, Claire, or Sam? <laughs> we have two votes for Sam. Oh my gosh. Wow, what a shock. Okay, are we doing Sam? I chose Sam because it's unisex. Okay, that's what I was thinking. <laughs> Sam. There really isn't much to say. I woke up one day with a note next to my pillow saying that <gasps> we were over. We haven't spoken since. <laughs> what a coward. Grandma. I'm sorry, but it's true. My view is too many folks take the easy way out these days. You deserved better than that, Tara. Oh my gosh. Thank you, Grandma. On this island, when folks want to break up, they'll tell you to your face. It's a bit of a convoluted tradition, actually, but... Well, we're putting the cart before the horse, aren't we? And maybe it's time for you to get back on the horse. Anyone caught your eye yet? I'm not sure I'm ready to date again, Grandma. Come now. Grandma wants to you know the tea. spend all your time doing farm chores. You've got to live a little. Really? I'm happy just to make new friends. For now. Fine, fine. Suit yourself. But if you really want to make new friends, a little generosity <gasps> never hurts. Here, take this and give it to Thomas. You'll see what I mean. Cornbread? I bet grandma's cornbread is bussin'. <laughs> okay, so we have one more day on the beans. Okay, 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 okay. And we don't have to water our crops because it's raining. Oh my gosh. Wow, what a plot twist. Um... Let's see. Let me pause the game really quick so I can catch up on chat. Matt. Grandma's spitting back. So true. I know. I can't believe we got broken up with over a note. I don't think he would choose to talk to the storyline at all. Okay. Who's Thomas? I think Thomas is the other farmer. You can date anyone. Speaking of fiancés, my fiancé is like, <laughs> he's cackling in the other, um, in the other room. <laughs> Thomas is the farming neighbor. Um, yeah, you can date anyone from the romanceable options, no matter who your past partner is. Okay, awesome. Um, we don't do cornbread in Australia, and I want to try it so bad. <gasps> First of all, you're from Australia. That's so cool. Second of all, um, cornbread is amazing. <laughs> it's so good. I'm visiting the U.S. next week. Oh! <gasps> 
Oh my gosh. I wish I had like a good recommendation on where to get like good cornbread. I don't know. <laughs> I feel like like the only thing I can think of is like Cracker Barrel, but that might not be a good recommendation. <laughs> You recently made the best cornbread you've ever, ever had. Ugh, I want some cornbread now. This is Audrey's colleague, Victoria. Okay, awesome. It's so nice to meet you, Victoria. <laughs> okay, this is Thomas. Excuse me, Thomas. <gasps> cornbread. You're from New Zealand? Here's some cornbread, Thomas. Grandma made it. Oh. So is Nicole. Thanks for bringing it by. That's very kind. Sure. You're welcome. Ooh. One of Thomas's... <gasps> okay, awesome. So they have favorites. Okay. Sweet. Okay, okay, okay. Good to know. Oh, look. Grandma note. Okay. Just subscribed and agreed. Cornbread is life. Hang on. I gotta scroll back over here. Um. Let's see, let's see. Uh, just wanted to stop in and say hi. Can't stay, but I'm trying to support you and Allie with your streaming. Have a good night, hun. Thank you, Erin. Thank you so much for stopping in. I really appreciate it. There, are ch That's true. There are different types of cornbread. Our founders and a handful of others are all based in Melbourne, Australia. Melbourne? Melbourne. Melbourne. <laughs> We also have folks in the U.S., New Zealand, Costa Rica. I like a moist cornbread drizzled with honey. See, I don't like honey, but I feel like on cornbread it might be good. Kiwis unite in chat. Ah, my fiance, the guy that was in here earlier, his username is Split Kiwi. Kiwi? Split Kiwi. That's his gamer tag. So I always call him Kiwi. <laughs> so it's funny because, oh, Split Kiwi. Wait, uh, Jarvis just posted from his other YouTube account. <laughs> this game is 100% making me want to stream when I get a PC. Yes, Kristen. Oh my gosh. Do you have a donate button? I don't see one. Um, I This channel is actually not monetized. Um, I don't know if I have a donation link set up. I used to have one over on Twitch. It could be in my description box. I honestly don't know. I, uh-oh. I would have to look. I don't know if you guys can still see me. Can you guys still see me? Okay, yeah, cool. Let's see. You're going to probably hear my voice for a second. Oh. Um, no need to donate, though. No pressure whatsoever. Oh, yeah, support the stream. It's through Streamlabs. <laughs> It's in the description box. <laughs> um, okay. Oh no, we have to go see... Um, we have to go see... <gasps> Cameron? Oh, hey there. Are you ready to help your neighbors reach the pinnacle? Uh, pinnacle of what? <laughs> <laughs> You're funny. Everyone knows about the pinnacle. The climb to the pinnacle is the very foundation of the League of the Conscious Mind. This community is ready for some new ideas, but I'm running out of pamphlets. If you could find me some paper, I'll make sure you are rewarded. Monetarily or spiritually? <laughs> Both. Oh boy. Francis? So... You've decided to climb the pinnacle, too? What? No, Cameron just asked for some paper. I heard. For printing pamphlets, which will help spread his ideas. Don't get me wrong. <gasps> Cameron's a nice guy, but I don't trust the League. And it's strange to see Angus get 
caught up in this. I'm sorry. I wasn't thinking about it like that. I figured. What is happening? It's easier to act like everyone on the island has good intentions, right? Hey, I'll pay you for that paper, too. I could always use more wrapping paper for the store. I did promise Cameron. I know, I know. Just think about it. Oh my gosh. Francis would... Wow, what a, a position that just put me in. Yeah, this YouTube channel isn't monetized yet, so I don't have the support the stream button yet. But hopefully soon. Um, okay, let's see. We just posted a meme about this. Oh my gosh. Have you been to Violet's flower shop yet? I, I try to support to, her business as I much as I can. See. Her dad got a job off island, and I know he sends money home and all, but it's got to be tough taking care of her brother all on her own. Oh, wait, are we talking about Violet? Money, status, making paper, and giving it to Francis instead of Cameron. <gasps> That's literally hilarious. Okay, I saw that meme earlier when I was on the Studio Dog Instagram, but now I get it. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Well, I honestly, like, immediately my reaction or my gut feeling is to go with Francis. So, <laughs> um, okay. We want to fix the mine. Should only take a day or so. Let's go. Okay, cool. <gasps> okay, wait. I gotta see if I can give a present to Amira. So much drama this evening. A uh, for real. Not the pot stirring itself. <laughs> oh, Amira's closed on Friday. I forgot. Oh, there's Cameron. Okay, so Amira's not in there. Amira. Where can I find you? Hmm. I wonder if Amira hangs out somewhere. Let's see. Oh, tell grandma. Paper. And don't take mice for granted. Wait for Parker. Okay. Okay, let's go home so we can talk to grandma and see if we can make another potion. You gave your paper to Francis? I feel like I have to. I got weird vibes from Cameron from the beginning. So, and Francis seems like a total 10 out of 10. So, <laughs> Meanwhile, we're in a coven. <laughs> oh, I was like, wait, what is he doing over here? Where's Grandma? All oh, right. Let's well, talk about some did you give bread. Thomas the cornbread? Yes, and he seemed to like it. <laughs> well, Thomas is a bit hard to win over, but I think you two will get on fine. And giving him his favorite food will certainly help. Ah, so what you're saying is I should bribe my way into my neighbor's hearts. Exactly. Well, talking to them once in a while helps, too. You'll get to know them better that way. And maybe soon you'll find someone you really want to get to know. Get my meaning? Yep. I think I got it, <laughs> Grandma. <laughs> oh, yes. Now we can make cornbread. Awesome. Okay, cool. Okay, so let's go check on our potion. Oh, I need some some soil. Is my soil ready? Nope. Probably tomorrow. Okay, I guess we can forage now. <laughs> Paige, go to bed. <gasps> I can't. I know, it's literally 1 a.m. <laughs> What's today, Thursday? It's basically the weekend anyway. Talk to a grandma again, the pot. Oh. See, I was confused. I was like, where did, what happened to that? Um... Says you're offline and clearly aren't. Maybe I'll just donate to your last video you did on your main channel. Oh, Erin. <laughs> Good night. 
Oh, here, Grandma. Sophia gave me this pie to give to you. I'll look into it. Apple? How original. You keep it, honeybee. The sugar rush will give you some energy when you need it. Aww. Thanks, Grandma. She let me keep the apple pie. Wildflowers is on the Switch? Yes, it's on Switch, Steam, so PC, and mobile, like iOS. Major game changer. I played on mobile, but now when I play again, I'm definitely doing it on my Switch. So I can dock it and play it for my TV. Yeah. I know. I'm thinking about... I, I bought this on Steam, but I'm thinking about getting it on my Switch as well. Because I would love to, like, lay in bed <laughs> and have a second, uh, second like, save file going. <laughs> oh. Let me get more of this flower. Witch weed. <laughs> She's invested. I know. I am. <gasps> Bananas! And Bruno! She totally dissed that pie. I know. I sensed some tension between Grandma and the, um, I forget her name. The, the diner owner. <laughs> Literally laying in bed and watching this on my TV. It looks great. Ah, oh, that's awesome. Ooh, Just jumped over to their ID and saw that the new update definitely includes more romance content. Oh, I caught a squid. Yay. Let me talk to Bruno. I don't have any bait. Oh. Maybe I should visit Bruno's shop? <gasps> Amira! Wait! Stop! Some people think Shelby is odd, and he is. But that's what makes him delightful. Aww. If you ever treat him with anything less than kindness, you will be hearing from me. After you hear from your grandmother, I'm sure. Whoa! Okay, should I give her one of these? Do I risk it? Oh, thanks. Oh, she didn't really seem like she liked that that much. Oh wait, is this where she lives? Can I go? Oh, nope, okay. <laughs> Amira lives here, oh, okay, cool. Okay, so. Oh, so those are her loved items. They're grayed out, I see. So I don't know what they are. She's 38. She's the town doctor, confident, stylish, and outgoing. Maybe the most magnetic person to ever walk this island. Okay. Interesting, interesting. I forgot Friday's over tomorrow. It's Saturday here tomorrow. Oh my gosh. I wish that it was Saturday tomorrow. But it's Friday. We have the Jags play this Saturday at 4 30 p.m. Eastern, guys. I need you to go to bed so I can go to bed. <laughs> go back to the lighthouse. Oh, wait, I forgot how to get to the lighthouse. Okay, let's try to go to the lighthouse. Whoops. I have to get up at 6.30. Okay, I'll get up soon, Kristen, I promise. Let's do, like, one more day. How does that sound? <laughs> What's happening here? Okay, just making sure Kim wasn't going into uh, Amira's house. <laughs> I gotta focus, but thank you so much for having me. Y'all are just lovely, and I hope you keep enjoying the game. Thank you so much for stopping by and being here. We really, really appreciate you. <laughs> I hope you enjoy the rest of your day, day or evening. <laughs> Oops, wrong way. 
Oh, wait, I can pick these? <gasps> I didn't know that. Thank you for pointing that out. Yeah, we'll finish today and then we'll do one more day and then we'll get off. Good call, Audrey. What would I do without you? <laughs> I forgot that this beach was over here. Tara stalks me at Mira's house to see who comes over. Could be interpreted as toxic. Okay, well, I just happen to be there, you know? <laughs> It was great to meet you, Victoria. You can eat us for energy too. Oh. Uh, Am I ready for bed? Yes. <sighs> Not as much as cooked meal. Okay, cool. So like a little smaller amount of energy. You seem sad to hop off, Paige. I love how you looked. I honestly am sad. One more reminder since stream is ending soonish, please give the video a thumbs up. Yes, please give the video a thumbs up, guys. Thank you all so much for being here. And make sure you subscribe to the channel. We've been playing this game for four hours. <laughs> Good morning, dear. I have some medication ready at Amira's clinic. I don't mind getting it myself, but... No? This is exactly the kind of thing I'm here to help with. I'll pick it up instead. Well, <clears throat> that would be a kindness. Does she know? <laughs> Does she know? Oh wait, I need um soil. Yo! -ho! Oh, the mine! Parker stopped by on his way out to let me know the mine was finished. Let's go check it out. Oh, it's looking great! Do you Ooh. know what that means? I need builder's insurance. <laughs> oh, silly. You can go mining! Yeah, it was, uh, it was kind of implied. <laughs> Here, you'll need this to a get pickaxe. started. A pickaxe is a handy tool to have around. You can break up rocks to gather some stone, and also mine lots of lovely ore now that this place is fixed up. Now take it in and get cracking. But it's dark, and... <laughs> and there's probably bugs. You'll want to focus on cracking open the mineral rocks to find ore. Bring me back some iron ore and I can turn it into iron for you. Cool. Oh, before I forget, you'll need to keep your eyes peeled for the keys to get further into the mine. Some clever fellow has scattered them about. They're probably buried under fallen rocks by now. But there's lots of great stuff in the mine. So, it's worth it. Have fun exploring. Oh, I'm sure I will. Yay. <laughs> Okay. Bring Natalia three iron ore. Um, okay, cool. Let's just take a peek in here, right? I guess I'll need some kind of digging tool. Okay. Oh. The echo. Okay. So I wonder if some of the rocks look like they have ore. Oh, like this maybe? The best pickaxe you ever have to upgrade or make a new one? You've accomplished a lot in those four hours, more than I did. Been such a great stream, or stream. Visit Amira, say no more. Amira is closed today. We'll have to mark it on the to-do. Oh, true. I forgot. Oh, 
iron ore. Okay. What else is in here? Wow, this is pretty big. Oh, I see. Okay, I'm just gonna break open one more. Oh, nope, that's not what I'm trying to do. Oh, I need one more iron ore. Oh wait, this is not iron ore. This is iron ore, hopefully. Oh yeah. Okay, give iron ore to Natalia. Yeah, we're gonna need a to-do list. No dragons are fire breathing tra dragons on site. <laughs> Thank goodness there's no fire breathing dragons. <laughs> wow, so many weeds. Oh, the irony. <laughs> yeah, it definitely sucks up a lot of energy. Okay. So we have the beans. Do I just not water this? <clears throat> okay, let's go make another potion. Thomas's beans are ready, Grandma. Well, go on and take them over. I'm sure he'll appreciate it. Tell me, honeybee, does Arthur mind that you left your job in the city to come help me? Well, I didn't really leave my job. My job left me. Aww. Our site got acquired, but the new parent company just wanted our subscriber list, not our editors. Maybe dad wishes I was using my degree in a new job in the city. But then who would help you here? He's not going to come do farm work. <laughs> That's for certain. <laughs> Your father has the blackest thumb I've ever known. <laughs> Even when he was a boy. Oh, we were sad when he left. But the garden sure wasn't. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, let's go find Thomas. Another good thing about this game is you have all the pocket space and don't need to add or upgrade. Uh, yeah, I love that. Thomas! Wait, 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 wait. Slow down, slow down, slow down! Hi, Thomas. I've got some green beans for you. That Grandma means... said you needed them to make an order. Oh, she did? Huh. Well, thank you. That will be a help. Stay there a moment. I got something for you. Oh, yay. A black thumb is the opposite of a green thumb. It means that you're really bad at uh, plants. Hello? <laughs> Who are you? What's it? You can see me? Well, yeah, you're standing right there. Oh, it's just m most humans don't take much notice of me. My family and Thomas's family got a long history. I like to help out where I can. I do too, I guess. Well, you must be a good witch then. <laughs> Wait, how did you know I was... Where did she go? Where did who go? Um, the cat. You know, the, the stray? Right. Well, here's something for helping me out. It's not much. But it's what I have. Thanks, Thomas. 150 gold? Oh my gosh. Okay, wait. So is Thomas a witch? 
Oh my god. Shelby Young is the voice of Natalia. Who's Shelby Young? What are you doing over there, kid? She is a TikToker. She's really famous for doing impressions, especially tour guide Barbie. Oh, no way. Tara Wild, to what do I owe the pleasure? I'm here to pick up some medication. She's open. Uh, for my grandmother? Ah, uh, yes. Here it is. It's very sweet of you to run Hazel's errands. Her mobility has decreased markedly this year. But lest you think I only treat Hazel, I want you to know I can help you too. I'm not sick. I mean, I don't, I don't think I am. Do I look sick? No, no. You're adjusting to a new job with much more manual labor. Each night that you don't go to bed on time, you lower your immune system's capabilities. Working outdoors in the rain and cold can have the same effect. Eventually, you'll leave yourself open to colds and viruses. And when you come down with something, your energy levels plummet. If that happens, come see me for a restorative. Otherwise, you might pass out. Oh, gosh. I would never live that down. Sometimes I have a difficult time sourcing all the ingredients. So you may see requests on the town notice board. Please fulfill them if you can. Seeing patients takes up most of my time. I'll do my best. Welcome! Doesn't it look so organized in here? Juliet just sorted all of my medical supplies in exchange for extra credit at school. I explained what each item was for, and she seemed genuinely interested. Maybe she'll take over for me one day. Aww. I want to give her a gift, but I don't know if she's going to like this or not. Oh, thanks. She didn't really seem like she liked it that much. <laughs> Whoops. Give medicine to Hazel, or Hazel, Hazel, and take iron to Nat Natalia. She just wants a reason to get a visit from you. Mm-hmm. I'm not sick, so I look sick. <laughs> Oh my gosh, is that iron ore? Yes. Um, I think this dirty rock might be some. <laughs> oh, it sure is. Look at that. You're a natural. Yeah, this is great. Save some time and take these iron ingots I made. I'll melt these down. I can swap your iron ore for iron anytime, but I'll charge a little for the work. Awesome. 80 gold. Let's go. Let's go. Um, what else do we have? Oh, give Hazel her meds. You might have to keep trying to figure out which gifts work. Yeah, I'm sure I could look it up, but I want to try not to look it up. I told you that you'd have to visit the Florida doctor if you don't go to bed on time. I visited Amira. This is for you. My own medicine courier. I'm the luckiest grandmother on the island. <laughs> of course, Grandma. Anytime. Yeah. Ooh, honey lemon tea can be crafted now. I still don't have honey for you. But I'll So you. Lena says you knew each other when you were kids? Yeah. Well, she was a bit older. She would babysit me from time to time. I have a hard time picturing Lena as a kid. She's always so self-possessed and in charge. Oh, you mean running the general store? Yep. And uh, you know, taking care of her kids. Interesting. Oops. What can you use gold for? Um, a lot of different things, actually. How's Poncho doing? Poncho's doing great. He is passed out. He's passed out right now, over there. <laughs> Building, buying from shops, and paying Parker to fix things? Yeah. 
So you can use gold for lots of different things. Sorry, I realized I like didn't answer. <laughs> Let's do some foraging. Oh, the cat. Okay, are you guys down for hey there, kitty. another stream tomorrow? <laughs> for another this stream tomorrow? Or would you rather me do, would you rather me like alternate, whoops, alternate days? What are you guys feeling? Like, should I play Stardew next? Or do we just like crank this game out? <laughs> I'll do whatever you guys want me to do. I can spread it out or I can do it all at once. Or like days in a row. Lena is take charge. Ooh, high priestess. I could see it. Tomorrow, absolutely, absolutely. Yes, tomorrow, yes. 100% this. More of this. This, so much of this. I'm so invested. Okay, how long is this game? Like, am I gonna, like, be done with this in, like, a couple days? I'm gonna be so sad. <laughs> We're already four hours of gameplay. Like, how many hours does it usually take? Yeah, I don't want to finish too fast. Oh, paper. I gotta do paper. For Francis. I forgot. Oh, I'm a, a low on energy. Seems to be unanimous. We all want wildflowers. <laughs> okay, well, tomorrow I'll stream again. Tomorrow night. Use the same time around 9 p.m. Eastern. 35 to 60 plus hours. Okay, cool. So that should be plenty of time. Two to three weeks to finish and I played like every other day. Okay, cool. I got a letter from an institute focused on herb lore. They want to recruit me. I love potions, but I'm not sure if that's the right move for me. I can't believe magic schools are actually a thing. I think that no, might be Francis. They've been around for ages. They're also crazy expensive, so it's like probably not a real option. I think you're right, um, Luke, I think that might be Francis. I was thinking of this person. The Farseer's advice may seem unclear, but if you really listen, everything he says makes sense in the end. I feel like that's... I know which ones who transformed into a hawk she saw gliding majestically above her. The bird knew how to fly, but she didn't. It was a mess. That's gotta be, um... When crafting an incantation, the most important thing is evoking the very nature of what you're changing. That's where understanding and being clear in your intentions matters even more than the verse itself. The art varies from which to which. Farseer. I'm sorry, what? Name's Farseer. I see. Far. Like you've got great vision? Visions. Right. Okay. Nice to meet you, Farseer. Yes, Luke, I think you're right. The Acolyte was the last witch initiated into... Oops. So you think this is Amira? This could be... Um, Francis. This could be Lena. This could be Bruno or Shelby. And then this is Damon. That That's like what our, our guess is for right now, I feel like. You want to add another cute chill game? Cat Cafe Manager is so cute. I'll definitely check it out. Is that on Steam? Oh, I already pet her today. Pancho's snoring. That's a solid assessment. All right, I feel like that's a pretty, pretty decent guess so far. Oh man, my 
shoulders. <laughs> Having to have my arms, like, reached out on the keyboard is so much, like, harder than just holding, like, leaning back and holding with a controller in my hand. Ooh, a weed. Oh, and another weed. Is there anything else good over here that I missed? I should probably go to bed. <sighs> All mm. right. Is it time for bed? Sadly, yes. <sighs> Are the characters revealed at the end? No. You do quests for them and you finish. When you finish, they reveal themselves. Ooh, okay. <sighs> okay. Well. <sighs> it's saved automatically while you play. Okay. Okay. So that was our first night of wildflowers. What did we think? <laughs> that was incredible. I loved it so much. It's literally 1.30 in the morning. We could not stop. That was incredible. <laughs> I loved that so much. Um, woo. Well, I'm thinking tomorrow. I'm thinking tomorrow. Yes. Okay, so tomorrow night around 9 p.m. Eastern time. Um, good night, guys. Thank you all so much for watching. Literally couldn't ask for a better stream. It was incredible. I'm so happy with everything. So cool to just, I don't know. What a cool night, guys. <laughs> Thank you all so much for being here. Good night, Stacy. Good night, Kristen. Good night, Nicole. Good night, Shawnee. Um, good night, Ariana. Can't wait till tomorrow. Good night, Luke. Audrey, good night. Good night, everybody. Oh, Cat Cafe. I'll, I'll post. I'll post about it in Discord. Good night, everybody.